Lonnie White and Cleveland Coulter will be the deep men to receive. Nico Brastoff out of Nathan Hale High School in Seattle is the kickoff man. He was having a little trouble with kicks this week because of an injury, and it'll be interesting to see how he handles this. The run to the ball, he's going to drive it, and he really handles it well. He's going to kick it beyond the end zone to the base of the slingshot goalpost. So much for the injury to Nico Brastoff. They'll bring that ball out to the 20-yard line, and USC will start there. And I'm willing to bet, knowing how USC is, they'll come out and just try to do the old tailback left tailback right then we'll see a little Rodney Pete they spread it out two wide receivers on either side one running back back goes Pete from the 20 being chased by Ford throws the ball to the right side it's incomplete pretty good rush that time that was Washington State's Tim Downing who was closest man and forced Pete to throw the first pass away well so much for my predictions he proved me wrong right off the bat Downing has played an excellent season thus far he really came on against Arizona State did a nice job he beat out Savage Savage was starting out in front of him before the season started Downing came right back in here and he's been the guy putting a lot of pressure on quarterbacks Paul Green who plays as a backup tight end and starting H back for USC comes out of the game now. They'll go with a tight end, Eric McKee on the right side, 6'4", 245. Classic tight end physically. Eye formation, pitch back to the tailback, Emmanuel on the right side, winds it back in the middle and goes to the 28-yard line. Aaron Emanuel on the carry. Brian Ford got him down low to wrestle him down, and they're going to give him to the 29-yard line. So for Emanuel, it is a nine-yard gain on his first carry of the football game, and the first big play of the game for USC. It will be third down, a long one to go from just inside their own 29-yard line. The Trojans will send Ken Henry, who has scored five touchdowns and a couple of them on long-range passes, wide to the left. The tight end McKee to the right, a wingback right. That's the H-back green. He goes through to the left. Here's Pete to the tailback. Emmanuel hit behind the line and doesn't make it to the 30. He is stopped short as a submarining effort by Thomason who came up from the free safety blitzed through and got him down around the kneecaps and dropped him inches short of the first down. Great series for the defensive group of Washington State University that time Thomason came blitzing in from his free safety position and really did submarine the running back. Steele tried to lay a good block on him. Had no way. Nice job for the Cougars. Kittrick Taylor will be back to receive. Chris Spurl, averaging just over 40 yards a kick, is the punter. They are set now, checking off their blocking assignments at the line. Over the ball at center, Scott Brennan, a sophomore. The snap back. Here's the rush in the middle. He got it away under pressure. Short end-over-end end kick. Big bounce. Taylor going to retreat, get out of the way. The ball at the Cougar 30, rolling inside to the 28, down around the 27-yard line and covered by... USC, and it'll be Washington State's ball, first and 10. They'll put it down near the 27. Portland. For the Cougars, chase in motion through to the right side. Back goes Ed Blunt to pass. Going to roll out to the right now with good blocking. It's open, but he'll throw. Overshot chase up near the 40-yard line. Ed Blunt, with an acre or two ahead of him, decided to throw instead of run. Jim Walden talked about that last week. He had a big touchdown to Taylor to start the game off, but he said Blunt got a little bit cautious when he started running the ball and started throwing it. He said he wanted to see him when there's yard out there like that to be consistent, run the ball when he can to pick up the yard because that puts the defense under some pressure. For the Cougars, offensive tackles are Ken Kuyper and Chris Dyko. The guards are Ian Linder and Mike Utley at center, Alan Boatman. And the Cougars now do have a tight end in the ballgame. That'll be Mel Orchard set on the left side. Kittrick Taylor through to the right, three receivers on the right. Blunt will roll right, carry Porter blocking, throw to the right side, Taylor 30, and out of bounds at the 34-yard line goes Kittrick Taylor. As USC rallied to him that time, and it was Greg Coet, the defensive back on the corner on the right side, who came all the way across, pursuing the play, following the motion man, and made the tackle at the 34-yard line. Nice defense by USC. Washington State was in a trips formation that time. Blunt bootlegged out there. Taylor kind of released and just ran out there, but excellent pursuit by the defense to knock him down. He only was able to pick up seven. So the Cougars now a third and three at their own 34. The ball on the right hash, hash mark, open field to their left sidelines to the right. Split backs behind Ed Blunt, checking off at the line of scrimmage. No tight end. Three receivers, two of them to the left side. Signals called now by Blunt. Takes the handoff, turns, runs to the right after the fake. Ducks his way to a first down to the 40. 41, 42 yard line. Ed Blunt, he decided to run at that time as he faked the handoff into the right side of the line and then ducked around the outside of the blocking lineman and carried the ball out near the 42-yard line. They may put him down on the 41. That's where it'll be on the scramble, but it is a first down on a seven-yard run by Ed Blunt. That was a design play all the way. He had both his backs going the opposite way, so it was really a naked bootleg. Nice blocking by the Cougars up front. No score in the football game. First first down from scrimmage. 
Split backs, Washington State behind Blunt once again. Kerry Porter in the backfield with Tingstad. Here's the fake to Porter. Blunt now drops back, play action, throw left side, man open. Victor Wood overshot it. Wood was down around the 37 or 38 yard line of USC. He got between Coet, the corner, and linebacker Rex Moore, who had taken an extremely deep, deep drop out of the middle, Paul. He was actually behind the corner man. The ball was thrown in between them, but over the head of Victor Wood at the sideline. Well, Wood just ran a release pattern. He ran an out and go, in essence. Blunt had him wide open. He got so excited, I think he threw that ball up into the seats. It's that Beagle, the uh, offensive guard for SC, caught it on the sidelines. Kittrick Taylor wide to the left side. Rick Chase, a short split to the right with the ball on the right hash. Now at the 41-yard line, second down 10. Cougars with split backs behind Blunt. The turn. Fakes the handoff, follows the lead man into the line and dives to the 44-yard line. He faked that handoff to Tingstad that time and then followed Ed through the hole on the right side behind the blocking of Chris Dyko and Mike Utley, the tackle and guard, and sprawled forward to the 44-yard line. A three-yard advance that time for Ed Blunt, who has now picked up 10 yards on two carries. Washington State has really looked good. They're doing a good job of mixing up their run and pass. They have USC on their heels, in essence. USC Trojans, three down linemen. They have a young front three and an experienced core of linebackers with outstanding inside backers. Wood in motion to the left. Here's a little trap handoff up the middle corner. Now Tingstad, he breaks a clear 45-40 down to the 32. Ed Tingstad on the carry. They trapped in the middle, Paul, and Tingstad broke loose as they faked the little pitch to Porter, breaking to the left, and came back on the handoff to Tingstad, took advantage of the trap. Boy, every USC defender that time was trying to beat up on Kerry Porter. They thought they were going to go to him. Nice job. Just counter pitch that came right back to Tingstad. That's the thing that really hurt Arizona State a couple of weeks ago. When you have a defense that can fly to the ball like USC can, sometimes they over-pursue. That time they did. Nice run. 24 yards by Ed Tingstad on the trap. First down at the USC 32-yard line. Taylor in motion out in toward the formation. Back goes Blunt, cocks his arm, now looks back to the right, throws Tingstad on the 25-yard line. Ed Tingstad from Bethel High School in Spanaway, just outside Tacoma, circling out to the right and then back over the middle, caught that ball right on the hash mark at the 25-yard line. So a seven-yard advance on the pass, and the Cougars are two for four through the air with the ball at the 25. And credit the Cougar offensive line with giving Blunt protection to go back to his receiver like Tingstad who was releasing out of the backfield. Nothing, nothing, but the Cougars on the drive at the USC 25-yard line. Trojans unbeaten, they're 4-0. Now Cotton Sears in motion to the right. Here's Blunt, the counter option turn. Pitch to Tingstad, right side. First down at the 20, down to the 18-yard line. Ed Tingstad, who suddenly becomes the workhorse in the backfield, as undoubtedly USC will be keying on Kerry Porter, who is number five rusher in history at Washington State. And Tingstad, a bit of an unknown to the Trojans, suddenly comes flying out of that backfield. He took the ball that time down to the 18-yard line, first down. Well, Porter just has under 400 yards rushing on the year compared to Tingstad's 69, and Porter has yet to touch the ball thus far. And Tingstad has 31 yards on two carries plus the pass reception. Not bad. No running backs as Porter goes in motion right. Back goes Blunt. Sets up long time. Throws over the middle. Caught by James at the 10. Five. Touchdown, Cougars! Michael James set out wide to the left side. Slanted over the middle and is being mobbed by his teammates as Ed Blunt, with just superlative protection that time, had all day to pick his man. He picked Michael James, hit him at the 10, slanting from left to right, and James turned it to the end zone and went in to score. Washington State sent every receiver that six receivers in the pattern. Credit the Cougar offensive line for giving Blunt. He looked three different ways. He looked to his left, looked to his right, and then he came back and hit James right down the middle, who made a nice tackle, got a great block from Kerry Porter at the five-yard line. Touchdown, Washington State Island like it. An 18-yard touchdown pass, and the Cougars have the lead. Here's the snap for the extra point. The kick is up end over end. It is good, and Washington State leads it by a 7-0 score. We have 10 minutes and 50 seconds left to play in the first quarter, and the Cougars have marched it from the opening kickoff to a touchdown. It is Washington State 7, Southern California nothing. The defensive coaches for SC are scratching their head right now. I didn't even know what's going on. Here's the kick by Obrastoff. as low knuckleball. It hits at the 10 to the 5. Back to the four-yard line, picked up there by White. Lonnie Brink knocked him off his feet. He bounced back up and kept on running, but he was already down on his knees. And
and they'll put him down at about the 31. Seven nothing, Washington State. USC at their own 48 on the left hash. Open side to the right. Pete, the quarterback, checking off now at the line of scrimmage. Eye formation. He'll hand off a delay, a sprint draw to the left side. Emmanuel ducking and picking his way. And Aaron Emmanuel crosses midfield, goes out at the Washington State 47 yard line. So at the 47 of Washington State, a five yard advance for Aaron Emmanuel, his third carry, 15 yards total for Aaron. He's a 6'2, 220 pound sophomore who runs a 4'5, 40. That's a load. That's the lone running back will be the fullback, Todd Steele, at 6'3, 235. Lots of receivers. Trips right, rolling right. Pete, quick throw, incomplete. That intended for Paul Green, the H back, and he was hit by Ronnie Collins with Brian Ford in the vicinity. And having Brian Ford in the vicinity is like having an, an impending explosion somewhere around close. Boy, he just, he looks like Darth Vader out there, just hovers across the field waiting to come in for the kill. Nice job. Paul Green, the H-back, has the best hands, they say, on the USC's uh, team. That time the ball hit him right in the hands. Good coverage by Ronnie Collins, who came up from a strong safety position and broke up the pass. And Pete did a nice job of reading that and firing the ball in there. Second big catch for Tanner on the day. So trailing 7-0, the USC Trojans battle right back to the Washington State 29. They're on the right hash mark, set in the eye formation. Wide men both ways. Quick pitch left, Emmanuel trying the corner. He gets around the corner. A penalty flag is down as the ball got knocked loose and is picked up by Sean Landrum of Washington State, but you can't run it. But there are flags down as well, and let's see what the call is. Aaron Emmanuel sweeping the left side. Goes down to about the 27-yard line. And the ball was knocked loose. Now, was it dead or not? If it's a holding foul against Southern California and the ball was still alive when he was hit and it came loose, the Cougars could very well have the football. But so far, the defensive unit has remained on the field as we wait for referee Pat Flood to come out of the meeting of officials now and give us the indication what we have. Holding it is against Southern Cal. That time it looked like Emmanuel when he was tackled. As soon as his body hit the ground, the ball squirted straight up in the air, but it was just one of those things. When he, the body, the ball, I mean, the ground can't cause a fumble, I guess, something like that. It must have been a dead ball, so I presume he was down before it came loose. And the holding foul against USC then will be accepted. If he had been on his feet, if it had been a live ball when he fumbled, the Cougars obviously would take the ball and turn down the penalty. They, well, they will take the ball now back out to the 37-yard line. Back to the 37. And it'll be first down over again, but back at the 37-yard line. They'll crank up the clock, and here we go. Southern California, first and 18, back at the 37. And the Cougars digging in with a four-man down along the front line. Tim Downing is the other inside man. Brian Ford, the middle linebacker. Terulia Krakowski outside. Back goes Pete, now going to roll to the right. Rodney Pete with the ball, throws it downfield. It is caught. And another penalty Over marker is down as down to the 10-yard line goes Ken Henry. But I think we have an eligible receivers down as there are flags back at the line of scrimmage. Either that or Pete went over the line of scrimmage when he threw the ball. He scrambled out to his right side. Dean Terulio came up from his outside linebacker position and forced the pressure on him. That was a nice pass by Pete. And that's the thing that makes him so tough. Rodney just rolled out to the right side. He found Ken Henry, who has caught 20 passes this year. Ineligible downfield is the call by referee Pat Flood. And they will bring that one back. Flood has now gone to the other side to talk with the linesman at the far side. And now he's coming across to talk to the official on the near side. And it may be that we had both. We may have had an ineligible and Pete may have been across the line. But they have signaled ineligible, so that apparently is the one that's going to be taken. Maybe they could throw a couple more penalties in there and just kind of move SC back to their own 10. That'd be fine with me. I wouldn't mind that. They'll take it back to the 42-yard line of Washington State now. And the ineligible sign is the one we get. So 15 yards on two penalties for Southern California. And that's a biggie because they also lose the down. So not only is there a five-yard penalty, but a loss of down. That's hurt them. I, no, nope. No, they changed that this year. No okay. loss of down anymore. Yep, I've been living in the past. That's it. The old guys are all like yep, that. Paul. We're losing it. All timers. <laughs> Split backs now behind Pete at the 42-yard line. First down and 23. Signals called. Rodney, short drop, quarterback draw. Runs up into the 40. Stutter step to the 35 and to the 34-yard line. Rodney Pete. Finally ridden down and out of bounds by Chris Hiller, the big kid from Vancouver, USA, who made the tackle on that one and drove him down at the 34-yard line. But that's an eight-yard run by very quick Rodney Pete. Design play all the way. It looked like uh, Ricky Turner or Ed Blunt. It was just taking the ball right back up the middle. He had good blocking out there. Good pursuit by the Cougar defense as they knocked him out of bounds. Second down and 15 now for Southern California. They'll split two men wide to the right. Tanner with a slot inside him. 
And Affolder out to the left side. Split backs. Signals called Rodney Pete. Short drop. Quick throw to the right side to the hot receiver caught by Jackson. He is inside the 30 at the 29. Jackson caught the ball. Ford was there. Terulia was there. And they put him down at the 29-yard line. That's a five-yard advance for Southern California as they are now three for five through the air. And that pass of five yards gives them 40 yards on the three completions. And this is not a typical USC. They're throwing the ball. They're almost it's a throwing possession offense instead of the eye left, sprint left, and all those kind of things. And right now, they've got to do something big to possess because they're at third down and 10 at the 29-yard line back where they started the series. Now, Pete with the ball with split back straight back drop no fake long throw to the end zone it is incomplete pass intended for ken henry and double coverage down there as ricky reynolds and kevin thomason the sacramento assassins were there to cover him in <laughs> double coverage down by the pylon sounds like a Bit, you know, that sounds like a Bigfoot wrestling team or something there. Very good coverage in the Cougar secondary that time. The thing that Washington State did is they denied the USC receivers a chance to get out in the field. There was a lot of contact on the line of scrimmage. Pete had pretty good coverage. He tried to force the ball. Good co uh, secondary coverage by the Cougs. 7 nothing Washington State. SC will try a field goal. They'll kick it off the 36-yard line almost straight on. Here's the snap. The kick by Schaefer. End over end. Curling. Good. Curving left. It is short and no good. And Schaefer, who's best successful kick is 35 yards missed that one that would have been 46 as he hooked it to the left and short and the Cougars have held and will take over at their own 29 yard line. Cougars with three wide receivers in the game again Michael James Rick Chase to the left Kittrick Taylor out to the right one running back it's a, a draw to the fullback Kerry Porter up the middle he comes Kerry brings the ball now to the 35 yard line but there's a penalty marker down and so we may have that one all wiped out perhaps on a motion call as the Cougars tried to run it up the middle on the draw that time, Ed Blunt, who had had success throwing the ball, rolling out and throwing, now has one wiped out by a penalty as they brought it to the 35-yard line. It would have been a six-yard gain. Greg Coet on the right corner, Tim McDonald, Jr. Thurman, younger brother Dennis Thurman, they are the two safety men. Back to pass goes Ed Blunt now, sets up. No, he's going to run out to the right side, being pursued. Has a little room, throws the ball, and is caught over the 35 at the 36 by Victor Wood. Wood went diving under Greg Coet, the line, the cornerback, and caught that ball up at the 36-yard line. So it's a 12-yard advance on that play for Washington State. The Cougars are four for six through the air. Ed Blunt really has shown poise back there throwing the ball. He's taking his time. He's waiting for receivers to get open. Wood just ran a curl pattern and slid to the inside, became open. Blunt got on the ball. Nice job. Second down and three, Washington State at the 36. Cotton Sears wide left, Rick Chase slot left. And they have Kittrick Taylor out to the check it. James out to the right side now. Here's the counter option turn. Blunt hands the ball away in the middle. And it is Kingstad on the drive. And he brings it up over the 40 to around the 42 or three yard line. That's good for a first down. Ed Kingstad. They'll put him down at the 43-yard line. So that's a seven-yard run for Tingstead and a Washington State rushing first down their fourth. Tingstead's a tough kid. He's been playing with a pinched nerve for the past two weeks, and he really took a shot. McDonald came in from his free safety position and just hammered him. So he's playing with some pain out there. Kerry Porter now the only running back, and there'll be trips left with James motioning through to the left side. Here's Blunt rolling in to the left side, throws the ball downfield. Leaping catch by James over the 50 and down to the 48 of USC. Paul, there was nobody on him, or check it, Victor Wood, there was nobody on him as he uh, caught that ball and fell. Could have gone a long way if he could have caught the ball running. Well, the cornerback, Greg Cayute, if that's how you say it, hopefully, it was running up there. As soon as he saw Blunt roll out to the left side, he broke off the receiver, came flying up, tried to force it. Ed just kind of tossed the ball up over the top. Nice catch by the receiver. Cougars are looking pretty good. They're mixing up that run and pass. They're throwing on first down, running on second and third. Cougars are five for seven through the air now, and it's second down and one yard to go, and they've gone for 53 yards on their five completions. Split backs. Now Blunt doesn't like what he sees. He's going to take a timeout. So Eddie steps out from behind his center, Alan Boatman, to take the timeout, go to the sidelines. 7-0 Cougar lead, and they have a second down and one at the USC 48-yard line. Ball on the left hash mark. Sears wide to the right. Rick Chase slot right. Split backs now with a tight end set to the right. Signals called. Here's the counter option turn. Dropping back to pass Blunt. Throws right side. Man open. Chase 35. 30. Hit there. Fights his way to the 25 to the 23. Rick Chase from Olympia. Caught that ball in the open. 
And, Paul, the USC secondary is really playing back off. Well, I'll tell you, this is a good football team that Washington State's playing defensively. They're one of the tops in the country. But Washington State is doing an excellent job right now of mixing up their play calling. They, USC's flying up on the ball. They think it's going to be run. Washington State pass. They, they lay off. They, they run a run or a draw or a counter. They've, they've got USC right now on their heels. They don't know what to expect. It's a good offensive scheme thus far. 25 yards on that pass play for a first down to the 23-yard line. And the Cougars leading 7-0. James in motion, right to left. Blunt fakes, hands back on the trap. Tingstad over the 20, down to the 17-yard line. Goes Eddie Tingstad. Tingstad, four carries, 44 yards, and one pass reception. Here's motion by James. Trips left. Blunt rolls left behind it. Throws left. Ball caught. James at the 10, down inside the 9, near the 8-yard line. And the tackle finally made by Rex Moore and by Junior Thurman for Southern Cal at the 8-yard line. A nine-yard passing gain and another Cougar first down. For you folks that have not had an opportunity to come down and watch this football club, I would highly recommend it. Very, very good effort so far in this game. Coach Walden has got his staff fired up. They're playing hard. These guys are going after it. I'm telling you, 29 years, they're tired of getting beat by SC. They're coming after these guys. 7 nothing Cougars first down goal at the USC eight-yard line. Ball on the left hash mark, open side right. Two men split right. Chase will go in motion through to the right side. Here's Blunt, draw to point. Up the middle, got to the five and tried to scramble a little more, but that's it. He stopped at the five-yard line. And for USC, the linebackers, Sam Eno and uh, Rex Moore, were there to lead the way, and Greg Coet, the cornerback on the right side. They stopped Porter. That is his first carry as he went to the five-yard line. USC, you're talking about what kind of players these guys are. They have the top three tacklers right now in the Pac-10, led by Eno, who's averaging just about 19 tackles a game. <laughs> these guys are tough, and the Cougars are moving the ball well against them. Mel Orchard is out from the tight end position for Washington State. The Cougars don't have one. Now, quick start. Pitch to Porter running the right. Five cuts it back. Head down inside the three. And Kerry Porter is down to the two-yard line. The Cougars went on a quick count that time. They were all lined up and still in the upright position when they snapped the ball. Kerry Porter took the pitch around the right side down to the two-yard line. Another three-yard run for Kerry Porter, his second. He has six yards on two carries. And the Cougars are third and goal from two and a half yards away. These are tough two and a half yards, too. Well, they really are. Two men wide to the left side. Wood and Kittrick Taylor split backs now in the backfield. Checking off is Ed Blunt, the quarterback, steps in to take the snap, has it. Quick pitch, Porter, left side at the five, bellying back, got grabbed by the jersey, thrown out of bounds back at the five-yard line. So Kerry is down back at the five for a three-yard loss that time, and the Cougars are going for the field goal. Lewis Brock did a nice job coming up from his cornerback position, did an excellent thing. He forced the ball back inside. Kerry made the right move to swing outside, but Brock was able to get a hold of Porter's jersey and just throw him down. Had he been able to get around him, he had some running room. Kevin Adams will try the field goal off the 12-yard line at the left hash mark. Ed Blunt will hold the ball, and the snap will be by Tim Scholes from Mount Vernon. The lines are set. It'll be from the angle left from the 12-yard line, a 22-yard goal. Snap, spot. The kick is blocked. He got it away low, and somebody got a piece of it, and it'll come out to the 20-yard line as a touchback as the ball went right through the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20, and USC has dodged the bullet this time as the Cougars had an excellent drive and didn't even get the three. Junior Thurman was the guy that came in from the top part of the field. Actually, the, the north part of the, uh, the effort came down, laid out just like Ricky Reynolds did when he forced the kicker for USC earlier. He just laid out, got the ball. I mean, it's just a good play. If you get the angle, you got good speed, which Thurman has. You lay out, you can block the ball. Nice job. So for Southern Cal, moving left to right with a minute 50 to go here in the first quarter and trailing 7-0. They'll try to get something started. Rodney Pete, their quarterback from Overland Park, Kansas. The tight end is Paul Green on the right side. Wide men both ways, split backs. Cougars jumping around a defense. Back goes Pete. Sets up. A lot of time. Rolling right. He's at the 15. Going to run. Hit short of the 20 and fell to the 21. To now Alapate made contact. And Maury Metcalf made the tackle. Maury, whose dad was with the now Los Angeles Raiders when they were in Oakland, catches Rodney Pete, whose dad coaches for the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay, so USC has a few name players, or so do the Cougs, you know. I mean, just the kind of guys that you know in Ritzville and Riverside and Colfax and places like that. So. It goes around, comes you around. Bet. 
Ball is on the 21-yard line. Second down, nine for USC. John Katnick, their center, reverses the ball in for end, getting ready. Here's the snap out of the eye. The pitch back, Emmanuel, right side, fights his way to the 22, and the Cougar defense, Tony Savage and Maury Metcalf, got there to make the stop. So these people now in the ball game, Paul, for the Cougars, some of them were not starters. He'll go to the 22 and a half yard line, but the tail of the ball is still at the 22, a one yard gain. Coach Walden's philosophy is try to rotate as many players in because you're playing against a team that likes to just pound on you. And if you have fresh guys in there, it doesn't hurt quite as much. Plus, you wear down the offensive line at the same time. So out they come again. Third down and eight at the 22. High formation. Rodney Pete at quarterback. Fakes the draw to the fullback, rolls back deep to the left side, throws the ball, and it is a diving try, and it is in. Oh, it's caught at the 42-yard line. And the Cougars on the sidelines are hot about it, but Randy Tanner came out of the pack with a ball, and the official said, yes, it was, and Jim Walden is jumping up and down in front of the Cougar bench across the way. But the pass is good for 20 yards at the 42-yard line. Walden's doing his sideline aerobics right now. He's just fired up, and he's right in the official's face. I think they've been watching Arizona State film because the officials are starting to get the heck out of there. Well, you know, that's just one of those things. The official was right on the play there. It looked like he scooped the ball off the ground. Oh, no, it bounced, folks. Bad call. <laughs> Bad call. Ball at the 42 on the left hash mark. Wide men both ways. Eye formation. First down. The USC with the ball. Pitch back to Emmanuel. Running right. Shifts the ball. Got hit at the line of scrimmage and driven back to the 40. And the man who drove him back was Chris Hiller. Hiller got him and drove him back. They'll probably give him forward progress at the line of scrimmage at the 42-yard line. But on that running play, Aaron Emanuel picked up nothing as time runs out in the first quarter. So at the end of the first period here at Martin Stadium in Pullman, the score is USC nothing, Washington State 7. Signals called by Rodney Pete checking off at the line at the 42. It's a quarterback draw up the middle, 45-50, caught by the jersey and dragged down. And the man who got his jersey was Alapate playing as the middle linebacker with Brian Ford on the sidelines. And I don't know if there's anything wrong with Ford or not, but Alapate remains in to start this quarter. He's on three tries by Rodney Pete. Now with the ball, he hands off in the backfield, carrying his Todd Steele, a slant off the left side by the fullback. He's over the 45 and carries the ball down to the Cougar 40-yard line. He hit at the 40 and bounced forward, but a seven-yard advance on that one by the fullback, and USC now goes over 100 yards of total offense. USC on the move. Wide men to both sides. They're in an eye formation. The tight end is to the left, and Pete turns around now to shout at the tailback to try to give him the signal. Now has the ball, gives to the tailback. Emmanuel started up the middle, turns out to the left, got to the 35, and is knocked out of bounds at the 32-yard line of Washington State. For Aaron Emmanuel, another eight-yard run. Emmanuel carrying the ball for eight, now 24 yards on six carries for Aaron Emmanuel, a sophomore from Palmdale. Emmanuel just used excellent speed that time to get out. Washington State did a great job defensively of bottling him up in the middle. He just kind of bounced outside, was finally knocked out of bounds by the Cougars. Ken Henry wide to the left side now for USC. Signals called in an eye formation by quarterback Rodney Pete. The tight end is to the right. Back to pass, Pete. Play fake, sets up, throws right side. Ball is tipped. It is tipped by Maury Metcalf. There was a man open in the middle of the zone. He found the seam all right between Metcalf, the linebacker, and Ricky Reynolds, the cornerback. But Metcalf got the hand up. Maury from Sacramento, a sophomore, and tipped that ball away. He's like a catcher out there. I mean, he fi finds a guy and finds a target and just rifles that ball in there. Metcalf was looking outside and at the last minute kind of jumped back inside, was able to get a big pop there and knock it away. Or it was a completion if he did. Yeah, if he's a catcher, that ball's in center field. Yeah, that's true. Of course, the pitcher doesn't usually deflect it. Maury Metcalf was at about in that spot. Cougars moving around on defense now. Here's the snap. Back goes Pete again. Sets up at the 40. Throws left side. Hard. Caught a man there. Henry at the 23-yard line, and he caught it and then bounced out of bounds. Ken Henry at the Washington State 23. A nine-yard gain on the play, and it should leave them with one yard to go as they picked up the nine on the pass. USC has attempted nine. They have completed five, and that nine-yard pass gave them a total of 69 passing yards in the football game. Into the huddle to call the play goes Rodney Pete. He's only a sophomore, 6'2", 190, from Overland Park, Kansas. 
He's a good runner as well as an excellent passer. Now, wide man to the right, wing back to the left. The wing, Green will go through in motion to the right. Rolling right with a penalty marker down. They're going to blow the play dead. Rodney Pete trying to roll out, but they threw the flag and blew the whistle. And it may be that the 25-second clock ran out. Now, Paul, they told us they would not use the 25-second clocks because one is not operative. The other one is lighted. Well, that's interesting. I don't know if the officials have their own, but it's a five-yard penalty, and they're moving it back. But I guess he's got his own little running 25-second clock, and sure enough, no, well, it's a procedure. procedure. It is a procedure call. Keep an eye on that clock, see if it's running at all. That'll, right. that'll be the tip-off. It's on, but I'm not sure whether they're using it or not. Can I watch any of the game? Or no, you watch, you're, you're watch the clock the rest of the court. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we hand out assignments very definitely here. Right? <laughs> well, I know where I stand in this booth. Well, okay. well the clock is running. But I'm not sure that they're making much use of it because the Trojans on offense can't see it. Ball back on the 28-yard line. Third down and six. Pete dropped the snap. Scramble at the 30-yard line. That ball is still loose back to the 32, and Southern Cal has it. They say it is down at the 31-yard line. Rodney Pete lost the snap from center, and the scramble was on for the ball. And I think it was the fullback, Todd Steele, who made the recovery. They put it back at the 32. That is a four-yard loss for Southern California. And the ball is at the 32, and again, they will try the field goal. Schaefer, who missed from 46, will try from 49 now, just inside the left hash mark. Who has a famous dad as a defensive back coach for the L.A. Ra Rams. So there's, you know, there's another name. Let's drop him all night. Now he kicks with a very brisk win. Here's the snap spotted. Here's the kick. Got it up, end over end. It's going to be close, but it is wide right. Long enough, but wide right. Schaefer missed it. And the Cougars take the football at their own 32-yard line. So the missed field goal, a field goal attempt that was no good by Schaefer, that time from 49 yards. And Washington State takes over first and 10 at the 32, leading 7 to nothing in the second quarter. And you can almost see the fastener coming down a little bit closer on Schaefer's neck there that time. That's the second missed field goal of the day for him. You get down towards the end of the game, they start thinking about those missed field goals. That might be a big deal, and they've kept USC off the scoreboard again here. That's a big play for the defensive effort for the Cougars. And that kick was with the win. Yeah, the other was. one against the wind, you could understand, but that one had the breeze at its back. Cougars ready, wide men both ways. Split backs now. Here's the fake to the right. Rolling left goes blunt. Lineman in pursuit. Throws the ball. Tipped the clock. Rick Chase at the 50-yard line. And a penalty marker has gone down. Chase caught the ball and went out at the 50. But let's wait and see what the call is now. The marker is down behind the line of scrimmage. Whether it's a hold, a clip, or a rough, I don't know. We're waiting for Pat Flood to come out and tell us. And here he comes right now. It is a holding penalty against Washington State holding against Washington State. And so that'll wipe out a fine catch on a ball that appeared to be deflected on its way, and Rick Chase caught it anyway. And also a nice effort by Ed Blunt. He was running to his left side, and he's right-handed, so he's got a throw across his body. Not only had two SC guys chomping on the bit, throwing salt and pepper on him, ready for dinner, he just flipped it out there. Chase made a nice catch and went out of bounds, but they're going to bring it back as a holding. Kittrick Taylor and Cotton Sears will come in with a play as wide receivers for Washington State. And the penalty, 10 yards, will take the ball back now to the Cougar 22-yard line. It'll be first down and 20 for Washington State. 12.45 to go in the first half. The Cougars leading Southern California by a score of 7 to nothing. The 25-second clocks are not legally operating in today's ballgame. Wide men both ways. At center, Alan Boatman. Blunt calls the play, split backs, turns, fakes, rolls left now, throws to the left, it's knocked down, incomplete. Oh, that's a hacky, you bet. You bet. And I'll tell you what happened. Tim McDonald, the All-American, I think Paul could have knocked the ball down, but he elected to put a hand on the receiver's shoulder to come around him to get to it. Had he not put the hand on and pushed on Mel Orchard, I think he'd have knocked it down anyway, but he's called for interference. And Mel Orchard is uh, limping out. Uh, he looks like he's hurt a little bit, so he's limping out of bounds. That's all that Washington State needs. They have enough tight ends on the injury reserve. But that time, Tim McDonald did a nice job of coming up. made a great play defensively, but he did, he did make the mistake of putting his hand on the jersey. That was Steve Broussard who was the receiver, and not only about that, but it gives Washington State a first down, so instead of first and 20, it's now first and 10 Washington State. It is first and they 10. Penalty. They bring the ball out to the 29-yard line. The Cougars get the first down via the penalty, but a first down it is nonetheless. So Washington State first down at their own 29-yard line. That's where they'll operate. And the Cougars leading 7 to nothing in this football game get a chance to start a new series from there. 
Out they come. Boatman over the ball. It's on the left hash mark. Wide side to the right. They'll split two men to the right. Signals called once again. Motion through to the left by Rick Chase all the way through the formation. Here's the counter option turn. Broken play. Whistles, flags. Delay as game. Blunt started to go to the left side. And uh, that play just broke down. Ed Blunt made the counter option turn. There was nobody with him when he completed the turn. And then the flags went down. So the play just broke down. They'll walk it off against the Cougars now. That'll take it back to the 24-yard line as the Washington State Cougars are assessed. A five-yard penalty. Illegal procedure during the dead ball period. Well, I'm getting messed up here on these uh, legal procedures and delay games. I'm just going to let you call for now. How's that sound? I just wait for the referee. Uh, that's fair. That's the easy way. <laughs> Ball is still just inside the left hash mark. Cougars will send Cotton Sears and Kittrick Taylor out to the wide side right. The tight end, Mitch Dillard, is also right. Here's the turn. Back to pass goes Blunt. Sets it up. Good time. Now chased out. Sets up again. Throws low and hard. It's incomplete. Meant that time for Pringle. Mike Pringle out of the backfield, but the ball was a little bit low. Excellent pressure, finally, by Rex Moore. The Cougars gave Blunt a lot of time to throw. Second down and 15 yards to go for the Cougars, still back at their own 23-and-a-half-yard line. Here's the snap. Blunt hands off. Pringle up the middle. 30. Penalty marker down. Maybe holding as he crossed the 35, and down he goes. Michael Pringle carrying the ball for Washington State. Ron Brown, the outside linebacker from La Puente, California, a 6'5", 215-pounder, made the stop. They put it down at the 35-yard line. But there's a flag down on the play, and I would think holding against Washington State. So the options will be explained. The USC captain, Sam Anno, who's... Uh, the people he most admires in football are Dick Butkus and a guy named Lambert, Jack Lambert, who used to play for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So you would know right away that he's a linebacker. And that's what Sam Hanno <laughs> is at 6'3", 235 pounds. They will accept the penalty, and the walk-off against Washington State will be back to the 24-yard line again. Either that or he admires guys without front teeth and likes to drink a lot of beer, so who knows? Maybe that's the difference. He just wants to get on the commercials. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually, it's not a holding. It's illegal use of hands, what they refer to in the trade as sloppy hands, where you don't grab a hold of the guy, but you let the hands kind of drift out away out of the legal areas and make contact. So it's a five-yard instead of a 10-yard walk-off. They bring the ball back to the 24-yard line. So it will be second down and 15 over again, in effect. The Cougars had gained about five. They lost about five. So we're ready now. Two receivers to the right side. That's the wide side of the field for Washington State on offense. Signals are called by Ed Blunt. Tight end is to the right. And now a whistle, and it may be too much time. Flag is down. Yep, delay of the game this time against Washington State. The officials are in Hanky Haven right now. They're throwing flags all over the field here. You know, I thought after a penalty, it, it, is the clock still running? Or, well, or what's the, the, deal? the count for getting the ball in play starts when the referee makes that little chopping motion with his hand. The ball is then ready for play in your 25 seconds. There, he wound up the clock. That's the same thing. If he's not winding up the clock, he would say, all right, gentlemen, it is second down when he chops the hand. The ball is ready for play, and the count starts. That's fair. Thank you. So if the clock is not running, you still have the 25 seconds. Okay. That's good. I'm writing these notes down. Okay. <laughs> All right. Blunt is ready at quarterback. Split backs behind him now. Wide men both ways. Counter option turn. Blunt going to run. Tripped up but got away from that man. At the 20. Right side at the 25 and runs out at the 27-yard line. Ed Blunt ran out of bounds and ran around behind the kicker's screen on the USC sidelines, keeping anybody from running him down. And he was being pursued by Lewis Brock and Tim McDonald. And there's a, there are words being exchanged on the sidelines now as Blunt got away behind the kicker's screen, brought the ball to the 27. Well, in motion to the left side. Fake pitch, handoff up the middle. Pringle hit hard. He got hit right in the mouth that time at the 29-yard line. Rush from the outside. The kick is away. Kind of a wobbler against the wind. Hits at the 40. Bounces back and out of bounds at around the 43 or 44-yard line of USC. A formation for Southern California behind Rodney Pete. He'll turn, give to the fullback, slanting off the right side. Not much there. He was hit at the line of scrimmage. And 235-pound Todd Steele just wedged his way. Check it. That's Leroy Holt in there at fullback now. And Holt picked up about a yard on the play to the 40. No, he didn't. They say he's down at the 44. No gain. Cougars are doing a good job defensively against that big USC offensive line inside, led by Briegel, the All-American. Now Pete trying to check it off at the line. He's calling visual signals to his receivers. Takes the snap. Back he goes. Throws right side. It is caught. Ball received by Ken Henry. Up close to first. First down territory at the Cougar 46-yard line, and Henry is hit immediately. Brian Ford is back in the ball game and was there. 
They line up with one running back. Pete takes the snap. Back he goes. Four receivers out. Throws to the checkoff man. Green down to the 35 and took it near the Cougar 33-yard line. It is Paul Green, the sophomore from Fresno, a tight end who also plays the so-called H-back or tight end in motion position and took it down to the Cougar 32. That is just short of a first down. It is about a nine and a half yard gain on that play. These guys look like Oregon State or San Jose State. They had five receivers out there. Both backs flew out and Green just looped back underneath the coverage. Pete waited for a while, let him clear on, just dropped the ball off to him. Second down, a short yard to go just outside the Cougar 32. High formation now, wide men both ways. The snap, the handoff to the tailback. Emmanuel started left, cut back in the middle, right, 25-20, fumbled the ball. Rolling from the end zone, Ricky Reynolds got it at the goal line and goes down on his knees at the two-yard line. Ricky Reynolds covered that ball right at the goal line. Had it bounced into the end zone, the Cougars could have had it for a touchback, but Ricky caught up with it. He didn't want to take the chance, so he grabbed it at the two, just turned around and dove to the ground back at the two-yard line. That's something we have not mentioned. Washington State right now is fifth in the United States in turnover ratio. How many times have we heard of USC and Washington and Stanford? Stanford's number one. They're plus 11. Washington State is plus seven. That is a huge turnover because USC was driving down the field. A nice run by Emmanuel, and that's one of those things when you see a ball on the ground, you jump on it. You don't care where it is. You just get after it. He did a nice job. Big turnover for the Cougs. So Emmanuel, who gained 30 yards on the play with the fumble, <laughs> nice winds job. up without the ball. Cougars line the running backs in the end zone. Kerry Porter and Ed Tingstead. Blunt with the ball to Porter. Smashes it to the left side and comes from the two out to the five. Nothing very fancy about that. Just line up behind Ken Kuyper and Ian Linder and blast it straight up. And that's what Kerry Porter did that time behind the line blocking and brought the ball out to the five-yard line for a short but very important three-yard game. The Cougars are trying to get a little bit of breathing room here. If you remember, this is the exact same area last year that USC blocked a punt on and got a safety out of it, and that turned out to be the difference of the ball game, two points. And remember, too, that if the Cougars do have to punt from here, they're punting against a stiff wind. They are liable to give the ball up on their own side of midfield field if they have to punt it from down here. So they would like to get some room and perhaps a couple of first downs. Blunt sets them again. Three wide receivers hand off on the right side. Tingstead wraps that ball up so securely and takes it out to the nine yard line. So a four yard run by Ed Tingstad. And Ed with his four now has five carries and 48 yards in this ball game, plus one very fine pass reception. So he's had a good game so far. And Paul, he really wrapped that ball up. He really did. He did a nice job of fumbling both Porter and Tingstad. And even Ed Blunt have done excellent jobs of not fumbling the ball. Remember last year, Rippin, he, he had a tendency to drop that thing. We haven't seen a lot of that this year. Cougars have had two games with no turnovers at all. That's amazing. That really is. USC turned it over five of the first six times they had it in the second half last week. Now motion by James through to the left side. Here's the turn, the handoff. It's Porter driving. Got a first down. Big Curry with his head down drove it across the 14-yard line. He got behind Dyko and Utley. And now we have words downfield between Rick Chase of the Cougars and Junior Thurman of Southern Cal. But the Cougars have a first down. Let's see where they put it. I think it's across the 14 to the 15. It is a six-yard run, that time and a first down. The Cougar coaching staff grades the offense on their ability to get the ball out. Anytime it's less than inside the 20-yard line, they, they give a positive grade if they're able to pick up a first down. And I'd say that that's a definite A-plus for that effort. Well, that really was because that was tough, tough territory. Two men split wide to the left, ball just inside the right hash. 7 nothing Cougars. The turn by Blunt, going to run it himself. Now pitch back, Kingstad left corner, and Ed gets around the corner out to the 18-yard line. Ball is at the Cougar 18, second down seven. Wide side now to the right. Here's the turn by Blunt. Fakes rolling back deep to the right. Throws the ball upfield. Caught on the 25-yard line. That was caught by Mel Orchard and hammered back immediately. The SC tackle made by All-American safety Tim McDonald, who really punished him after he made the catch at the 25. But the catch of the 25 may be good for a first down, even without a measurement. That was a nice job by Orchard. He limped off earlier in the ball game, came back. I tell you, the safety just came in. McDonald came in and just basic, that's your basic body slam punishment type. And he just came right in there. But it, it doesn't matter. Orchard was smart enough as a tight end to be able to pick that first down up. He got over the line. Nice pass by Ed. The big guy, Orchard, is from Evanston, Wyoming, which is not one of your really <laughs> big places. Yeah, right next to L.A. Trips right now, but Victor Wood will go through to the left side. That puts one out on the left. The handoff, Porter up the middle, draw, 30, 35, ran right over. 48-yard line. Kerry 
Porter on a draw. And I'll tell you, you talk about the shortest distance between two points. That was what he ran, a straight line from where he started to where he finished. Big Horn C. Porter is what we'll call him. He was just running over bodies. I saw SC Trojans just getting scattered. Nice blocking again by the Cougar offensive line. But Kerry broke at least two tackles in there. And that's the old Kerry Porter. I think something about Arizona State, he just, after the Arizona State games in his career, he just goes eight. That was a nice run. Ball's on the 47-yard line. First down for the Cougars who lead 7-0. Trips right. Now Rick Chase in motion through to the left side. Blunt fakes a quick pass, running to the right. Nifty little move to the 50 and runs out of bounds. And once again, he's being shouted at by Junior Thurman. All right, USC with three down linemen at the line of scrimmage defensively. Motion by Mike James through to the left side. Blunt turns, fakes, keeps the ball, then gives leap. Delay handoff on the draw to Porter. Through he goes down to the 36. Kerry Porter. 11 more yards for Kerry Porter, who now has 45 yards in this ball game. 11 on that carry, and the Cougars have another rushing first down. Their seventh rushing, their 12th overall, and they lead seven to nothing. Steve Broussard is back in as the lone running back. I'm surprised he's playing today. Trips left, blunt with the ball, rolling left, throws deep on the left side. That's going to be tipped and incomplete. It was almost picked off by Lewis Brock, who has two interceptions this year, and he got both hands on that ball, Paul, and I really think that Lewis Brock should have caught that ball for an interception. It was in his hands, and he just didn't hold on to it. Well, that was tough. Uh, Ed was rolling out to his left side again. He made a nice pass to a Chase earlier. Brock, Brock went, well, he got way up there, but he's got those big shoulder pads for defensive backs. It looked like it kind of pinched his neck there, and he couldn't get his hands any closer. Fortunately for the Cougars, it fell incomplete. That should have been intercepted. The big shoulder pad squeezed his eyes shut, and he couldn't <laughs> see it. Well, he's, yeah, he's going to be blind after he keeps doing that, I'll tell you. Kittrick Taylor is out to the left side. Rick Chase slotted inside him. Michael James to the right. Tingstead and Porter split running backs behind Ed Blunt for Washington State. Here's the turn. Blunt gives the ball. Tingstead slides through on the right to the 30, down around the 27-yard line. Ed Tingstead on the carry for the Cougars. 6'2", 206-pounder, a sophomore. Played for Dave Rostovsky at Bethel High School for the Braves and took the ball that time down to the 27. Another nine-yard run for Ed Tingstad, who has now carried the ball for 60 yards in the first half of this football game. And this is a young man who came in here wanting to play quarterback and was willing to make the change to running back because he was needed there. And he's really done a fine job. He's been the most valuable player thus far in this game. And he's a great character kid. You know, that, that's, the, that's one of the great things in his favor. Here's Blunt on a quarterback sneak. will get the first down as he goes over the 25 and I think will be down near the 24-yard line. Ed Blunt just burrowed into the pile, finally dragged down. Daryl Henderson was there, and Keith Davis, the linebacker, put it on the 24 first down. You have to understand that this drive started on the Washington State two-yard line after a big Ricky Reynolds fumble recovery. This is a good USC defense, and the Cougars are taking it right down the throat. They are. They're driving it right down the middle of the field. There's not been a great amount of fancy in this one. This has been smash mouth. You bet. Split backs now, Porter left, Tingstead right, tight end to the right, Mel Orchard. Signals called by Blunt. Line set, handoff fake given now to Tingstead, and he scrambles over the pile for a short gain down to the 23. So one yard that time by Ed Tingstead. Gives him 61 yards now in the ball game on eight carries. That is kind of basic, your basic double dive technique. They fake, they fake the handoff to the first back, the full back through, then they come right back with the second back, and he takes it right. It's almost kind of a delayed blast. It's really a weird-looking play to watch it from up here, but it's been very effective. It has for the Cougars. Picked up only one that time, but it leaves USC wondering what's coming next. Again, the tight end is to the right. This time it is uh, Dillard. Here's Blunt with a snap, rolling left now, going to throw downfield. Meant for Wood is incomplete. And Victor Wood was ridden out of bounds by Tim McDonald, who then grabbed him by the belt over on beyond the sidelines to make sure he didn't ride him face down into the artificial turf. Well, McDonald's a good defensive back. He really covers a lot of turf back there. The thing you like to see in a free safety is the ability to come up and really stuff the run, but make the big plays in the pass, and he's been doing that his whole career. He's a good one. Last year against the Cougars down in Los Angeles, he made 14 tackles and an interception in that game. And do you know that he wanted to go to UCLA and play basketball when he was in high school in Fresno? Whoops. His all-time athletic hero is Magic Johnson. That's fair. He's playing football. 
There's motion now by Chase to the left. Quick snap, handoff to Porter. Porter up the middle, battles his way to the 20, down to the 18-yard line. Jerry Porter to the 18-yard line, and the Cougars pick up five more as they continue to roll that ball along with a 7-0 lead. And Kerry Porter on that run now has 50 yards, and Paul, I think that makes him the number four rusher in Washington State history. Yeah, that definitely does. He moves up there on number four, and you, that's that's pretty darn good company. We're thinking of Tim Harris and Ruben Mazes, and I think Bernard Jackson is a guy right behind him, so that's pretty fair company, good for Kerry Porter. He deserves it. Field goal time against the win. Nico Brastoff will kick out a Blunt's hold at the 25, a bit to the right. Snap, spot, the kick is up, end over end. Looks pretty good, it is. It moved it through from 35 yards, and the Cougars have a 10 to nothing lead over Southern California. 10 nothing, Washington State. Something amazing about that all-time rushing list that I was mentioning to you earlier that we can touch on perhaps if we get time later. Here's O'Brass off the run, the kick. A high end over end kick that will go to the goal line to White. He'll bring it out of there to the 10 up the right side, the 20, the 25, the 30. He's at the 40 and bounced out of bounds by Ricky Reynolds at around the 45 yard line. Lonnie White, whose brother Tim played as a flanker for SC in 1981-82, has not really played very much. Uh, he came in here as a wide receiver and flanker, hasn't gotten much playing time, but has become a kick return specialist and really has come very close this year to breaking a couple of them. Boy, he just blasted that ball right up the right sidelines. Good blocking by USC on that one. Ricky Reynolds had to come over from the safety position to finally knock him out of bounds. Ball at the 45-yard line. If Lonnie White ever breaks one all the way and he wants to do it, Interesting little note here in a minute. Split backs, two receivers to the left. Here's Pete, quarterback draw, runs up in, finds a little bit of room and got to about the 48-yard line. Not much there as Hiller got him around the knees. Chris Hiller made the tackle after a three-yard gain. Well, we interviewed him last week, and the man's name was George Reed, who's the all-time, all-time, and if any kind of rusher ever in professional football, he's not even in the top ten, I don't think, for the Cougar rushing, and that is usually a gauge of what kind of talent you have. It really is. It's very interesting that George Reed is not among the all-time rushers, and he rushed for more yardage than Jimmy Brown, pro footballer Walter Peaton. Back to pass goes Rodney Pete, deep drop. Sets up, throws hard, right side. That ball is caught inside the Cougar 40. That down at around the 37-yard line. A 15-yard gain on that passing play. They're set to go now. Back to pass. Goes Pete rolling left. Going to throw the home run. Back in the middle. Man open. Touchdown, USC. To oh! No, he dropped the ball. Oh. Randy Tanner dropped the ball in the end zone as Ricky Reynolds got on him. I don't know how he dropped it. He had it at the goal line, and Ricky Reynolds was there. Ted Tolner watching in absolute disbelief on the sidelines as Tanner caught the ball or appeared to at the goal line and somehow Ricky Reynolds knocked it out of his hands as he tried to roll into the end zone. Pete rolled left let it fly. Tanner on the throwback over the middle had the ball and lost yep. it as he crossed the goal line. It came out. It sure did. In fact it fell out right between his legs and when he landed good call by the officials that time Good instant replay by our camera guys. So now second down and 10 back out at the 37-yard line. Pete with the ball, the quarterback. Three men out in the deep pattern. He'll roll back to the left again. Sets up. Now he's going to run back to the right. Chased by Rob Cleveland. Got away around the corner. 40. Running for the sidelines and out of bounds. At about the 34-yard line. Ricky Reynolds in pursuit. Third down and eight at the 35. Pete short drop. Going to run it up in. Level. You think Gregory got Yep, Bob Gregory. Right? Okay, he's a white guy. You think Bob Gregory got it? Well, you're checking the, the things there now. No, number 40. Oops, they're patting Artie Holmes on a helmet, aren't well, that's they? That's what I thought was Artie I Holmes. I thought it was Bob Gregory. He came I, flying I think in Gregory there. recovered Holmes after he recovered the ball. But I thought uh, Bob or Artie Holmes was the guy that caused the fumble because he was blitzing underneath. The ball squirted straight out, went about 15 feet backwards. Well, well, we'll find out officially in a little while. Winner by, loser by his dinner. Okay, that? ball out to the 46-yard line. They're going to look at it on the replay now. Yep. Ball at the 46, and the Cougars have it first down, 10 yards to go. So the Cougars again bit the bullet 
that time, and there was an 11-yard loss on the play for Southern California. Back to pass goes Blunt. Quarterback draw up the middle at the 50, and Ed Blunt takes the ball over to the 47-yard line. Lines him up in a hurry. Trips right now. Second down three. Quick pass. Right side. Ball caught out there on the right side by Michael James. Not going to get very much, but he did get to the sidelines and stop the clock. Gained a yard perhaps. There's motion by Cotton Sears through to the left side. The fake pitch, the handoff on the trap, back to Porter, down to the 41-yard line. Goes Kerry Porter driving on the right side. Split backs, Porter and Tingstead. Motion by Kittrick Taylor through to the left side. Blunt with the ball turns, going to run left. Fake pitch, ducks his head over the 40 and go down near the 39-yard line. They may have put him down on the 40 by crumpling him back like a used-up old package of something. They did. He's on the 40 for only a one-yard advance by Ed Blunt on the carry. 35 yards today for Ed. Back he goes to pass again. Throw, left side, man open. James got it, 15, 10, 5. He's at the flag. What a pass, what a catch to the two-yard line, first and goal. He broke a tackle by Tim McDonald. The safety ran right down the sidelines. He had two yards to go. There's 14 seconds left in the halftime. He had to be able to punch that in. That's a huge touchdown. Washington State is going to try to go for it here. Well, what am I saying? You know, they don't have any timeouts left. So they've got to make it or not. If they throw, they could probably get two or perhaps three plays in before the end of the half. Porter is the only running back. Ball at the left hash. Taylor threw in motion to the left side. Reverses, comes back out on the right. Blunt's going to roll out to the right side. Pump fake, running back in the middle. He will oh! Trojan. We're talking major league upset in the making here, folks. Nice, great athletic ability by Ed Blunt. He rolled out, had a trip formation to the right side, had good coverage by the SC secondary, saw it, and he just darted back inside, picked up two yards, a.k.a. Ricky Turner, touchdown Cougars. It was almost like they were running a two-point conversion play. They had run the receiver out to the left, back to the right. All right, extra point try. Here's the kick up in the air. It is good. The extra point try is good. And the Cougars, with nine seconds to go in the half, make it a 17 to nothing ball game over Southern California. And it's a standing ovation at Martin Stadium on this homecoming afternoon. And somehow the blue skies got a little bit bluer here, perhaps in the minds of USC. That's UCLA blue up there. But for the Cougars, this is Palouse country blue. And so the Cougars have taken advantage of what SC has given them in that direction. Obrastoff, the run up, and he'll dribble the ball through now. It'll be dropped by a linebacker who muffed it, and then USC will stack up on the ball back at about the 37-yard line, and now the pushing and shoving begins out of the middle of the field as the clock counts down to six seconds left in the first half. They have a center fielder way, way back at their own 20. Pete's going to throw it. He will air it out to the left side. The ball is caught, and oh, what a hit that is put on by Ronnie Lee as the ball was caught by Randy Tanner over midfield at the Cougar 47. finishes with 200 yards of offense in the first half, but they also finish without a point for their 200 yards as the Cougars lead in this football game as they go out the tunnel to the halftime locker rooms. The score at halftime, Washington State 17, Southern California nothing. kicks off. Hasty forward to the nine for the reception for Washington State. He's up to the 20, wiggling his way near the 25-yard line. James Hasty on the return for the Washington State University Cougars. Hasty, a six-footer, 190 pounds, out of Franklin High in Seattle, and attended Central Washington and played some football over there for the Wildcats before he became a Washington State Cougar. A pretty darn good one. In fact, led the nation in the NAIA, I guess, at one time in kickoff return, so he knows how to pack the old pigskin, move it right up the field. Cougars will start at their own 25 
five-yard line. First down, ten, leading 17 to nothing. Ed Blunt at quarterback, split backs behind him in the backfield, Tingstad and Porter. Michael James threw left to right in motion. He's caught a couple of big passes today. Handoff is given to Kerry Porter. Bang, straight ahead over the 25 to the 26 that time. And not very much running room as Southern Cal closed it down in a hurry. Rex Moore and Daryl Henderson leading the way on the tackle for USC at the 26. That's Southern Cal uses three down linemen. They offset them now to even spacing and four linebackers. Signals called, split backs behind Blunt. The turn, he fakes the handoff, rolls left, sets up, throws left side, caught by Cotton Sears at the 45-yard line and out of bounds, and falls so much for conservative. You bet, threw that one right out the window. Nice, that was a two-pattern offense by both receivers. Uh, one man ran down, ran a 10-yard out. The next man, Cotton Sears, ran about a 20-yard out. Blunt saw Sears wide open. He just threw the ball in there, and he has looked very, very poised so far in this game. Ed Blunt's having his best football game of his career, I'd say. They put the ball on the 44. It's an 18-yard passing gain. First down, Washington State. Leading 17 to nothing with the ball on the Cougar 44 on the left hash mark. Motion by James. Through to the right side now. Blunt on the draw. Porter. Up the middle he comes over the 45 and out around the 48 or 49 yard line goes Kerry Porter on the carry. And the tackle once again made by Rex Moore and Daryl Henderson combining and also there to help is Sam Anno for Southern California. They have placed the ball on the 49 yard line so a five yard advance on the run. Washington State was in this exact same position last year. They're down by 17 points and they came rallying back so teams can do that. They can come flying back from two and two and a half touchdowns. And you can't let a club like Southern Cal get the feeling that they can do it. Here's Blunt on the draw to Porter again up the middle. He comes, carry over the 50 and down to the 47 yard line. He'll be a yard short of a first down. So Kerry Porter from his own 49 carries that ball an additional four yards. And for Kerry Porter now on 13 check at 12 carries, that is 66 yards in this afternoon's ball game. And it's third down and one for Washington State at the 47 yard line of Southern California. Sam Anno looking over to the bench to get the defensive call from the coaches before it's passed on to the white shirted USC Trojans out there on the field battling for their lives in the second half. Here's motion now through it's Stallworth going to the right side. The counter option turn, handoff on the left side. Tingstead, and on second effort, fights his way on the left side for a first down. Tingstead down to the 42-yard line. He was hit at the line of scrimmage. All right, split backs behind Ed Blunt once again. Wide men both ways, ball at the left hash. Here's the Cougar turn now by Blunt. Fakes it, rolls out to the right, Porter a block. He sets up, throws deep, home run, Taylor! sidelines as well as one of the officials is over there and perhaps hurt. I think there's an, an official injured on the play as the Cougar training staff seems to have taken control of I think the umpire but I'm not certain and he's gone over to the sidelines which means the alternate official will be brought into play here this afternoon if that is the case if the injured official is not able to continue. Snap back it's on the tee. The kick is up. It's good. The extra point is good and with 12.25 to go in the third quarter it is Washington State, 24, Southern California, nothing. And the Cougars have been just dominant all the way. Obrastoff, the run up. Here's a long end-over-end kick for the win. That is going to go just under the crossbar and through the end zone for a touchback. So the Cougars have kicked the ball off the field. Nick Obrastoff did that. And USC, playing against the wind, will have to play long field football again, starting at the 20-yard line. This is something that Washington State really likes them to have to do. Now, they're going to have to put the ball up. USC cannot afford to just grind it out, eat up six, seven minutes on the drive. They need to score quickly. Rodney Pete split backs behind him. No tight end. Two men right, one left. Back he goes to throw. Out to the left side. That ball is caught for a first down. Henry got it. And Jack Hasty threw him out of bounds and will get a 15-yard pass. 
penalty for the continuation play out of bounds. It, was a, it wasn't a late hit. He had a hold of him, but he just continued to spin him and throw him after they were out. Well, that's a play that, uh, that's a cheap 15 yards for Wash uh, for against Washington State, but that's a that's a good call, you know. You don't go and body slam the kid. Listen to a person that's uh, talking. I used to do that all the time, but it used to get me in trouble, too. And those are the kind of things, if, if USC can come right back and get a quick score, that takes all the momentum away from Washington State. They cannot afford to have that happen. That will bring the ball out to the 47-yard line and a second first down in the half. They got a first down on the 12-yard passing play and then a second first down on the 15-yard penalty and the ball out to the 47-yard line. So it is first and 10 for Southern Cal. They trail 24-0. That takes care of the short field performance around the road 47 now. Left hash mark, open side to the right. Two men split that way. Eye formation in the backfield. Emmanuel, a tailback. Fake to him. He runs up the middle. Here's a long throw by Pete. Left side. Man down there. Caught it. He'll go on in. It's Henry for a touchdown. Henry bottled for that ball and got it away and took it in for the score. Erwin Chappelle was there to battle him and stayed with him to the five-yard line, but Henry took it in, and Southern Cal has struck back like lightning. It is 24-6, a 53-yard touchdown play that goes from the quarterback, Rodney Pete, to the end, Ken Henry, and it goes a total of 53 yards for the score. That comes with 12-12, just 13 seconds after the Cougar score. Schaefer, the extra point, the snap, the spot, the kick is up. It is, I think, partially blocked, but it got through. The Cougars got a man there, Ricky Reynolds, but that ball wriggled through somehow. And so the touchdown by Southern California brings them back seven points. And our score is Washington State 24, USC 7. It just took them about 13 seconds of clock time to get that one back, Paul. Actually, 16, two plays, 80 yards, touchdown, 53 yards. They're right back in the ball game here. They're matching touchdowns. Kickoff goes to Hasty on the five, up the line. He comes now over the 20 and is grabbed and wrestled back as he got to up around the 23-yard line before his forward progress was stopped. James Hasty on the return. Southern Cal wrapped him up at the 23. Split backs. Here's Blunt. Hands off. Tingstad on the left side. Powers over the 25 to the 26. All right. Now one running back in the backfield, Kerry Porter. Blunt pitches to him, running short side left. He's at the 30 and dives and powers his way forward to about the 30 four-yard line. There to make the tackle and not yet on his feet is Junior Thurman. All right, we're apparently ready to go. First down, Cougars leading 24-7 to in the third quarter. Michael James in motion, left to right through the formation. With the ball blunt, hands off, right side Porter. Carry straight up, hit by linebacker Keith Davis as he crossed the 35 and forced his way forward near the 37 for a short three-yard game. About a two-and-a-half-yard gain for Kerry Porter for Washington State. The nice thing about this is USC has not been able to stop Washington State State all day long. So even though USC strikes right back and scores in 16 seconds, the Cougar offense has been able to really kind of gear it up and keep that offense for USC on the bench. Mitch Dillard, who's been playing a tight end, goes out of the ball game for Washington State. Now the Cougars will have four wide receivers in, no tight end. Up three wide receivers. Michael James is leaving, not going wide right. So they have two to the right and Rick Chase to the left. Now he'll go through to the right side, making it trips right. Blunt turns. If he hands the ball away now. It is a slant off the right side. A big stack over the 40 yard line at about the 42 Porter once again on the carry and got it out to around the 42 yard line before he is ridden down and leading the way defensively for Southern California that time was Tim Ryan the defensive end ball at the 42 that is a five yard gain for Kerry Porter and Washington State and the 15th carry for Porter who has now gained 82 yards in the ball game it is third down and one for Washington State well, the ball's at the 42 and a half yard line, and they have to go up just short of the 44. A long yard to go. Split backs. Motion to the right by Michael James. Three men on the right side. Quarterback sneak by Blunt. He may not have gotten it. He didn't get very much. The officials sprint in nope, from the sides short. to mark the spot, and I don't think he got the first down, as Ed Blunt on the quarterback sneak kept the ball. Well, it wasn't much of a sneak. It was just a quarterback keep that time, and they wedged in on him, and he gained maybe a yard to the 43, but that's all he got and so the Cougars find themselves now in a fourth down situation fourth down and a foot to go and here comes the punting team on with Rob Myers to do the kicking he's from La Cañada California so it'll be Myers back to do the kicking he's been averaging 40 yards a kick for the season he will kick with the breeze single safety goes back deep Randy Tanner 
He's back at his own 12-yard line. Here's the snap. Not much rush. Gets the kick away. Angles away from Tanner, who backs up to the 10. He'll field it at the 9. Running left, pursued by Lee. Hit by Alapate. And out of bounds he goes. So now Alapate finally got him as Ronnie Lee sort of set him up. It was like the baseball relief corps, the setup man and the, the finisher that time. And Alapate was the finisher back at the 11-yard line. So an excellent kick that carried back to the 9. 48-yard kick and a 2-yard return. If you remember, Myers and Wellsand were alternating. Wellsand was supposed to be the long kicker and Myers was supposed to be the short kicker. But Myers was kicking longer than Wellsand. Wellsand gets hurt, Myers takes over the job. So here come the Trojans playing long field football again from their own 11. They played it pretty well the last possession and trail 24 to 7 midway through the third quarter. Signals called, eye formation. Here is Pete rolling right with a lineman in front of him. Throws the ball right side. It was deflected and incomplete. It was tipped that time by Marvin Adams. A junior from Modesto, California, and the pass was incomplete. Again, Pete was rolling out to his right side. He had pretty good protection out there. Adams just looped right underneath, was able to get a big paw up there, but Tanner was open. The thing that they're able to do is whenever you have a rollout quarterback like Pete, he's able to work the corners, the receivers come back, and he's just running away from the defensive back, and he tends to get open. Pete is ready to run. You notice that uh, Brent Parkinson, the big guard, was out in front of him on that roll, so even though he threw, he had the blocker. If he wanted to call a play to run, he had a blocker in front of him. Brent Parkinson, they call him Pigpen. High formation. Here's the pitch back to the tailback. Whistles blow. They may have taken too much time, or maybe somebody moved. Flags are down. They've blown the play dead. I think somebody moved. It'll be against Southern California. So the play never got off. And it'll be a five-yard walk-off against the Trojans back to the six-yard line. And the penalty against USC. A dead ball, foul, illegal procedure, somebody jumped. And this is an area where USC cannot afford to get themselves in trouble. Any turnovers here, Washington State puts themselves in good field position, plus they've got the fans working against them. They're right down there by the students, and they get a little salty. One of the linemen picked up his hands. I watched the official come over and te tell Ted Tolmer. He couldn't catch it for a student said, but at the sign he gave he picked up his hand. Showed him by picking up his hand. All right, it is second down and 15 yards to go now. Signals called. With the ball dropping back, Rodney Peet in the end zone. Throws up to the 10-yard line, caught there by Emmanuel to the 15, and Landrum runs him out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. Sean Landrum got over to drive him out. Bob Gregory was also there and had a hold of him, and they ran Emmanuel, the big tailback, out of bounds at the 15. So a nine-yard advance on the passing play for the Southern California Trojans. They moved the ball nine on the pass, 197-yard passing day. But they come now to third down at their own 15-yard line, and they have six yards to go. Big play, third and six. Split backs, two receivers, wide side right. Rodney Pete at quarterback, straight back drop. Now decides to roll right. Might run it. He doesn't. He throws. It is knocked down. Great play. Ricky Reynolds diving through the arms of the receiver right in front of Ted Tolner. The receiver was Randy Tanner, right in front of Toler, the coach, and it didn't even draw a protest from him, Paul. Oh, just a great defensive play by Ricky Reynolds. Same exact play Tim McDonald made earlier in the first half, but McDonald made the mistake of putting his hand on the receiver. This time, Reynolds just flew right through and swatted it down. Chris Spurl to kick against the wind. Rush! It's gone. Short kick. Wobbly off to the right side. Hits at the 42. Bounces back, then reverses and out at the 41. He kicked it out at the 41. Only a 26-yard kick against the wind. Chris Spurrell, who averages 40 yards, kicking away that time from Kittrick Taylor, got a rush from the defensive right, hurried the kick, and it was a bad one. Dean Terulio came flying in from the right side, really pressured him. That's just it. If the punter pulls his head or yanks his head, in any case, it really pushes the ball off the field. Washington State is playing short field football with the ball on the 41. Great spot to start now for the Cougars at the 41 of Southern Cal. Cougars lead 24-7. Split back behind Ed Blunt. Signals call. Blunt turns, fakes, rolls right, keeps the ball, throws to the right side. Caught by Mill Orchard. Orchard for an eight yard gain down to the 33 yard line. He was downed immediately. Mel Orchard with the USC Trojans rallying to the ball led by Sam Anno and Ron Brown. Brown was the man who made the hit, but down at the 33 yard line, and the Cougars pick up eight on the passing play from Ed Blunt to tight end Mel Orchard. The Cougars have passed for 200 yards. Ed Blunt's having a great game. Orchard made a beautiful play, just laid out there, really took a shot from Anno, and he's getting up a little bit dazed. 
Now Dillard in a tight end to replace Orchard. Kingstead goes out. Porter, the lone running back, pitch to him. Carey trying the right side, short yardage, fighting his way for a first down for Washington State. He got it as he crossed the 31-yard line. The officials will stop the clock now to take a look, but I'm sure from up here that he has the first down. We're, we're right on the 30-yard line, and the ball is at the 31. First down, says Pat Flood, the referee, at the 31-yard line. So two more yards for Kerry Porter, first down. The thing about these first downs that makes it so nice is it eats the clock up. Washington State has had a few points, 17-point lead. They need to eat that, chew that clock up. All the time that they can keep the offensive SC on the bench, the better off they'll be. It keeps their defense rested also. Ball at the SC 31-yard line. Cougars lead 24-7, first down Washington State. Trips right into the short side of the field now. Tight end left. Now motion. Rick Chase from left side. Here's Blunt. Turns hands off to Porter. Flags down. Cougar line moved on the right side too soon. It was either Dyko or Utley, and I think it was Dyko. Chris Dyko who jumped too soon. You can see the motion right along the line, and I believe that's the call. They're going to walk it quickly back. The play was blown dead, never started. Both Dyko and Utley are playing in your basic major league pain right now. Utley's shoulder can go at any time. I mean, you talk to Mark Small, and it sounds like they're the walking wounded. They just got out of war, but I guess that's what you can call this game. Well, it has really come down to that. I, you know, I, I hate to say this, but when I was a young one, it was kind of fun to play this game, but I'm not sure that it is anymore. Yeah, but that was when, you know, you had the, you did you kill the pig and inflated the well, bladder fat, to play with it? had a fat ball and, you know, <laughs> things like that. You've used the same one all season. <laughs> Revolutionary football. All right, we're ready to go. Split backs now. Here's the turn. Blunt keeps the ball, runs left, fakes the pitch, tries to turn up field, drags a tackler to the 32-yard line. Ed Blunt, carrying the ball himself that time, takes it down to the USC 32-yard line. He ran all phases of the option that time, faking the pitch, and Sam Anno was there on a tackle, and so was Marcus Cotton, who pursued across the field. Cotton, the principal tackler, at the 32, a four-yard gain. That was a nice job by USC defensively. They really spread of the offense out that time. Blunt made the right read, just picked up as many yards as he could. Cougars over 100 yards offense second half. Second down, 11 now. Two men left, and Michael James immediately goes in motion through to the right side. Here's the turn. Blunt going to run it to the right, fakes the pitch, puts his head down, got only a yard that time as he got down to the 31. And USC at this point with Marcus Cotton and Daryl Henderson making the tackle along with Rex Moore. The Trojans are playing very well against the option, at least the quarterback phase of the option, of Washington State. Ed Blunt, had he pitched that ball, that might have been intercepted because there's a USC linebacker sitting right in the, in the pitching lane, in essence, so he made the right read once again. This is a big play for the Cougars. Third down and 10 at the 31. Split backs, motion, Tim Stallworth, check it. Now it's Taylor coming through to the left. Hand off to Porter up the middle. Carey fights his way to around the 25-yard line to set him up in field goal range. Penalty marker down. Uh -oh. yeah, that's a late hit. It's a first down. Now, wait a minute. It depends if the play, yes, it was third down, so it would be a first down if it was on USC, and we have a Cougar player hurt on the play. Mike Utley uh -oh. stays down. That's Utley stays hit. down. There are markers down all over the field. It is a personal foul on Southern Cal. It will be half the distance and a first down for Washington State. All right, the Cougars at the 12-yard line on the right hash. Wide side, left side, lines right. Split backs, two men to the left side. Sears wide left. James inside him in the slot. Blunt turns, hands the ball away. We have penalty markers down as the handoff goes to Kerry Porter. Delay and he was hit at the line, but I'm not sure they got that play off. We're going to have to wait and see now as the officials consult. There were flags and whistles, and it's going to be walked off without question against the Cougars. They're going to take the ball back to the 17-yard line. So it was a dead ball delay of game. So it is still first down, but now 15 yards to go as they take the ball back out just outside the 17-yard line. Cougars ready now, first and 15. Motion, Taylor to the left, trips left. Blunt, he gives the ball away on the left side, handoff to Porter, and Kerry dives it over the 15 down to around the 14-yard line. Marcus Cotton leads the way along with Rex Moore. Rex, whose dad was an American swimmer at Stanford, and his brother Rob played football there. Robin Moore. Remember Robin Moore, the All-American swimmer? Oh, yeah. Sure, he was back in your time. Sure. Ball at the 14-yard line. So Kerry Porter picked up three on the play for Washington State. And for Porter now, 93 yards on 18 carries. Cougars ready again, second down at the 14. Here's the turn. Blunt going to run. Pitch back. Porter, right side, 10. Dives to the six-yard line. Kerry Porter around the right side. 
and got the ball down to about the six that time. A solid eight-yard run by Kerry Porter for Washington State. He goes over 100 yards in this afternoon's game. Right at 100. They put it down on the seven-yard line. So one less yard for Kerry Porter and the Cougars. And it'll be third down at the seven and four yards to go. Out come the Cougars. They've got to take it just into the two-and-a-half-yard line. Third down, long four. Blunt running left. Penalty markers down. They've blown the play down again. They have blown the whistles again. They've stopped the play. And presumably, that's again an offensive procedure penalty against Washington State. That's generally the case when they blow the whistles as the play gets underway and stop it. So the Cougars will be walked back now to the 12-yard line. They're like riding on a seesaw, the way they've been going to that ball, up and down. Right, split backs now. Motion by Chase through to the left side. Blunt with the ball, draw to Porter up the middle. At the 10, spinning and fighting, got to about the 8-yard line. So Kerry Porter picks up four, takes the ball down to the 8-yard line. Porter at 104 yards on 20 carries for the afternoon, but better than five yards a try. And the Cougars come to fourth down, and now comes the field goal team. Kevin Adams, the short field goal kicker, an extra point man, will try this one. He'll put his tee almost straight out in front at the 15-yard line. They're ready. Here's the snap on the tee. The kick is up. The kick is good from 25 yards. And the Cougars have added three more points on the 25-yard field goal kicked by Adams. And the score is Washington State 27 and University of Southern California 7. And, Paul, we have two minutes and 51 seconds remaining to play in the third quarter. To put that another way, there are 17 minutes and 51 seconds left in the game. Well, it's the same old story. It's whose team can outscore whoever as many times as possible. And Washington State offensively is playing as good a football as you could possibly ask them to play. They lost Utley on that series. I think that's going to be a big indicator in the fourth quarter. The Cougars need as many points as they can because in the fourth quarter, they're going to be going against the win. That may turn out to be an awfully big field goal. So the Trojans now run back onto the field as the Cougars prepare to kick it off. And once again, Obraskov will kick with the win. And the Cougar faithful, some 26,000 of them, the estimated attendance here this afternoon. Witnessing as fine a game as the Cougars have played in a long, long time. Uh, you know, you hate to lean on that because of the Arizona State game. We were so impressed with the performance there. Uh, perhaps because they had come off a couple of bad ones, it seemed even better. But this afternoon against a proven football team, the Cougars have just played knock on wood flawless football. Well, this, you know, we talked about that all along. Walden's down to 85 players. I mean, you know, we're talking the injured reserves. They're bringing, they're bringing everybody in. And they're just playing. The guys that are out there playing are playing their hearts out on both sides of the ball. All right, we are ready. The ball is on the 35-yard line for the kickoff. The run forward, Nick hits it. High, end over end, deep, end zone, eight yards back, knocked down there. They Now they finally cover it. You know, knocking that ball down in the end zone in a kickoff leaves it as a live ball, a hot one. All right, Trojans at their own 20-yard line now. First down, back goes Pete. Throws left side. That ball is caught by Henry at the 40-yard line, and he slipped away to the 44. Ken Henry finally knocked down on the play as he got out to the 44-yard line by Cougar linebacker Bob Gregory. Put it on the 44. That's a big 24-yard gain. That's also a costly one because Henry is looking at stars. He's seeing some gerbils right now running across his forehead. Nice. That time, Washington State was just playing a zone defense. They were playing it soft. Ricky Reynolds was over on the corner. They were giving him the out stuff. He just ran a little down and curled on the inside. Tomlinson had a shot at him. He missed it. Then about three or four Cougars came over and finally pounced on him. It really punished Henry. He's had a good game so far. He had a good season. He came into this game with 20 catches for 354 yards. He's had about three or four good ones in this ball game. He's a good receiver. But Cougars this, will play it loose on the corners now. It's the same old story, though. USC is just taking the ball, moving right down the field here. You can't start trading field goals for touchdowns. All right, we're ready to go. USC with the first down, trailing 27-7 late in the third quarter. Rodney Pete with the ball to the tailback. Aaron Emanuel. We haven't seen Ryan Knight today. He's up the middle near the 50-yard line. Aaron Emanuel on the carry. A little bit of pushing going on along the line of scrimmage again as the carry brought the ball out to midfield. So for Aaron Emanuel, a six-yard advance, and the offense over 100 yards in the second half for Southern California now. Emanuel, six yards, 60 yards so far for the afternoon. Second down, four at midfield, a bit to the left of center. Split backs, two wide men to the right. 
Back to pass, Rodney Pete. Lots of receivers chased out. Got away from one man, rolling right. He's hit as he throws. It is caught downfield. They tackle on the quarterback. It was made by Marvin Adams. And downfield, that ball was caught by Jackson, the wide receiver, down at the Cougar 41-yard line. Boy. So a nine-yard gain on that play. Boy, Pete took a shot from Adams. He came running out of there. He looked like a, a hurdler. Pete that time rolled again to his right side. A little protection. He was able to get out of the grasp of one of the Cougar defenders. He just threw the ball. Adams absolutely destroyed him. Pete laid there for a while going, oh, man, that's a couple aspirin shot on that one. I was so impressed with that, I forgot to watch where the ball <laughs> no. went. As a matter of fact, I was watching to see if Rodney was going to get up again or not. All right, it is a first down. USC on the march again at the Cougar 41-yard line. High formation, two men split left, one right. Hand off, tailback. Emmanuel starts right, got over the 40 for about a yard. Chris Hiller hit him low. Brian Ford got him high, and they played wishbone with him that time. And they got him high-low and put him down after about a two-yard gain down to the 39-yard line. So two yards on the run that time for Emmanuel, the tailback. And again, I repeat, we have not seen Ryan Knight at the tailback spot. They have started Emmanuel. He's gone all the way. Lone running back now is the fullback Todd Steele. Trips left with a tight end right. At the Cougar 39 on the right hash mark. Pete turns, spins all the way around, throws screen left side. Got the ball out there to Tanner. And Tanner got wrapped up. Penalty marker down. And the ball got loose. The Cougars may have the football. But there's a penalty flag down, so hold everything before you go jumping up and down and breaking the furniture. The ball was caught by Randy Tanner. Collins had him down over at about the 35 or 36 yard line. And there was a penalty flag down and apparently a fumble on the play. Cougars get it. They're going to pick the flag up. It was an inadvertent flag. And so the Cougars have the football. It was a pass reception, a gain to the 36 yard line for three yards, and then a fumble. So the turnover on the fumble, Paul. It was just a screen. They were running a trips formation on the left side. Nice pass out there. Good job by the corner coming in and forcing it out. Adams jumped on the pounced on the ball. I couldn't tell who got it. Looked like Ron Collins might have finally come in there. That's his third fumble recovery in two games. Great effort for Collins. Washington State's defense comes up with the third fumble recovery of the game. Huge turnover for the Cougar defense. And the Cougars get the ball on the 37-yard line. First down 10 now with a 27-7 lead. Here's Blunt. Pursuit from the backside as he rolls left. Throws into coverage. Ball deflected. Caught out of bounds. <laughs> what a catch. What a catch out of bounds by Michael James. I don't know how he ever caught that ball. He caught it in amongst the bench players, the sideline group for Southern Cal. Obviously, it complete out of bounds, but it was deflected. He got to it anyway. Great effort. The quick backs for the Cougars, second down 10 at their own 37. Kittrick Taylor threw left to right, blunt with the ball, draw to Porter, up the middle, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40. Perry Porter on a draw straight up the middle. That's a string straight run. That is a rope up the middle, the old frozen rope run right up the middle. And Porter going out of the ball game after all of that, but he got the first down. Beautiful run by Porter. I think he might have caught a finger in the eye because he's running over to the sidelines. He's okay. He's prancing around. Make it the 39-yard line of Southern California. So a 24-yard run for Kerry Porter for the Cougars' 12th rushing first down. And Kerry Porter, 128 yards in this ballgame. Cougars lead 27-7 at the 39-yard line of USC. Here's the quick pitch right. Penalty markers down. Broussard with the ball. Fights his way over the 35 to the 31-yard line. Goes Broussard, the bruiser, carrying the ball for Washington State. And the blocking out in front of him that time done by Alan Boatman. But there was a flag down. In fact, there were a couple of them. One on either side of the field. And here comes the referee. I thought I saw movement against SC. Oh, it's an illegal shift. Oops. That means... Two men moving for Washington State. The illegal shift against the Cougars, but it's still, it's not double the motion penalty. It's still only five yards. Well, that might explain why they had pretty good blocking over there. They had 18 guys knocking on the corner. Got a lot of people out there in front. And they will bring the ball back now to the 44. They will let the time run down. Four, three, two, one. End of third quarter with the score. Washington State, 27. Southern California, 7.
Utley went out with a knee injury. Jim Machalczyk, a sophomore, 258-pounder from Port Angeles, a one-time high school all-state tight end, came in to replace him. So the Cougars are now Ken Kuyper, Ian Lindner, Alan Boatman, Jim Machalczyk, and Chris Dyko tackle to tackle. Here we go. Blunt back. Fakes. Now rolls left. Now he's going to reverse, try to get back in the middle. Be caught behind the line back on his own 48-yard line. So Ed Blunt tried to get a little too fancy that time, scampered and scrambled around, and finally Bill Stokes, the linebacker, got an arm around him and held on until help came back at the Cougar 48-yard line. So they lose on the play as Blunt carried the ball back to the uh, 48. And now for Washington State, it'll be second down and a long way to go. Good pursuit by the USC defense that time. Flush Blunt out of the pocket and jumped on him for the sack. So Blunt lost about 13 yards on the play for Washington State. Here we go again, and the handoff into the left side now. We'll go to Tingstad or Broussard? Who's in there now? Broussard, yes, it is the Bruisers scrambling. And Broussard takes the ball back up to about the 45-yard line of uh, Southern California. And for the Cougars now, third down and 15. Ball at the USC 45-yard line. We're in the fourth quarter. Cougars lead 27-7. Motion, Victor Wood to the right. Here's the turn. Blunt, pitch back. Porter on the left side, got around the corner to the 40 and took the ball down to about the 37 or 8-yard line. Finally dragged down, Kerry Porter gained it that time. A whole bunch of USC Trojans led by All-American safety man Tim McDonald. He was a Sporting News All-American last year, Playboy preseason All-American this year. We're ready now. Myers with Chase, the up man to uh, call the signals, and the Cougars are fourth down, about 13, back at the USC 42-yard line. Scholes over the ball at center. Here's the snap back, good one. And the kick, he'll angle it away from the deep man to the right side. Tanner caught it at the 11, going to run it up the sidelines, 20, and got out of bounds at around the 24-yard line. It was Randy Tanner who caught that ball and ran it up the field and is knocked out of bounds. And so the Trojans get reasonable field position considering the situation that they entered. All right, USC at their own 24-yard line. First down, 10, 27-7, Cougars, 12-44 to go in the game. Back goes Pete. Now chased out, flushed, running away from Savage. Got to the corner, throws, intercepted! Oh, Gregory! Gregory at about the 41-yard line went sliding under that ball and intercepted it. And the Cougars take it right back at the 41. Major, huge, jumbo, large, definitely incredible interception. Maybe Gregory didn't get the fumble on that. I apologize to whoever I butchered, but he did. It came up with a great play. He's a former defensive back playing outside linebacker that time. Read the coverage beautifully. Pete tried to throw back across. I think hit Henry, the tight end, or Green, the tight end, the H-back on that. No way. Big interception for the Cougars. They can punch it in. Katie bar the door. So the Cougars needing 27-7 have the ball on the USC 41 left hash mark going west to east, left to right. Blunt the signal caller, turns, pitch left to Porter, good block by Chase around the corner, 25, and down to about the 32. Stallworth out to the right, signal called, motion through from left to right by Victor Wood, time called, penalty markers down, too much time. Now remember the 25 second clocks are not working officially here this afternoon. One is turned on, one is not, and the referee said before the game if they were not both working, they would not be used. The officials would keep the time on the field. See, that makes it tough for both quarterbacks. They've had problems with delay of games and things like that. I don't know if this guy's got a, you know, an awfully fancy watch, but he seems to be running a little quick. All right, Blunt is ready. He's calling his plays now, takes the hand of the snap, hands the ball to Broussard, banging into the left side, and the bruiser picked up just a little bit that time as he took the ball from the 37-yard line down to about the 36. Maybe not quite that much. Let's see where they spot it down. He didn't gain very much. Now nope, they're going to put it right back down on the 37. Gained about the length of the ball, so for practical purposes, no gain. And it is third down for Washington State. And still six yards to go. From the 37, they've got to take it down just about to the 31. Now trips left, three receivers to the left side. Pitch left to Porter, hit behind the line on an excellent defensive play by Coet. The cornerback on the defensive right side. He played up on the line against the trip set, Paul, and ignored them. He came right on through into the backfield, reading the pitch and run. Well, they definitely they had a trip set off there. Somebody missed a block. One of the receivers ran down the field. See where he kicks it this time. As deep back there is Junior Thurman. Here's the kick. He angles over Thurman's head. Ball will go to the end zone for a touchback. Thank you. And there's a flag down on the play. 
So there's a flag at the 45-yard line, which represents the line of scrimmage 44 with that little bit of breeze that would drift that one yard, just getting it out of your pocket and throwing it on the ground. Procedure call against Washington State. Now, will USC take the ball at the 20, or will they take uh, the penalty? I would think they'd just go ahead and take the ball now because they're liable to get it back there at the same time and just use more time. So Southern Cal will have the football first and 10 at the Trojan 20-yard line. We have 10 minutes and 8 seconds remaining in the football game, and Washington State leads in this Pac-10 homecoming encounter 27-7 over the unbeaten ninth-ranked Trojans. USC, four wins. Illinois, Baylor, Washington, and Oregon. They're behind by 20 here this afternoon, 10 minutes and 8 seconds to go. Split backs, Pete the quarterback. Cougars have a couple extra defensive backs in now. Back goes Pete. Throws long. Caught by Henry on the 40. And Henry's to the 41-yard line before Collins and Landrum ride him down. Ron Collins and Sean Landrum at the 41-yard line. But that's a 21-yard gain on the pass. And that'll be a passing first down. Henry just ran a deep square in that time. He found himself open in the middle of the Cougar zone. Nice pass by Pete. He's got some pretty good protection. Those big horses are starting to protect him up front. Quickly back to the line. USC trying to waste no time. They're down 27-7 in the fourth quarter. Pete drops back again. Cougars running a twist in the middle. Pete rolling out to the left. Here's the throw up field. It is intercepted. Picked off at the Cougar 40. Landrum has the ball over midfield down to the 42-yard line of Southern California. Sean Landrum, the interception at his own 40 and returned it 18 yards to the 42-yard line of Southern Cal. That's three straight weeks. The Washington State University defense has come up with their fifth turnover of the game. They had five against Arizona State on interceptions. They had five last week against Oregon State. They have five against USC. They are 1-0-1 one, oh, one when they do that, and they're heading on their second victory here, and those are big, big plays. Great effort that time. He just overthrew them. Ball is placed on the 43-yard line of Southern California, so they're just not making any progress from that spot. Cougars on the right hash mark. Wide man, Rick Chase to the left. Here's Blunt with a ball. Pitch back, reverse. James wide open around the left. 40, 35, a blocker there to the 30. And James inside the 30. I think they're going to say hit down right on the 30-yard line. The Cougars take the pitch. First going to the right. And Michael James, who had been split out a bit to the right side, came back right to left. Coet, who made the tackle, is shaken up on the play. The cornerback, Greg Coet. And he is down on all fours. The Cougars at the 30 with a first down. Let me just make this analogy. When you're playing a team like USC and you've been pounded on for so long, it's like the big bully in the neighborhood that's coming over and beating on you, and you get that, that big punch and knock him right to the ground. Washington State is doing that. They're just pounding on USC right now. I mean, that was a beautifully executed reverse hit. Everybody going to the right. The first down at the USC 30-yard line. They're almost within field goal range again if they need it, but I know they're not thinking field goal at this point. Well, this is an important possession for uh, WSU because they need some points out of this to put them up over three touchdowns. All right, the Cougars ready. They lead 27-7. First down at the USC 30. Back goes Blunt. Throws left. Man open, but he couldn't hold it. It was a leaping try by Cotton Sears as he turned back to the ball, and a penalty marker goes down. There's a flag down. It was after the play, way after, so the I Cougars sure are clapping. dead ball fouls. Cheapy. As Cotton Sears went leaping, looking back into the sun, trying to catch that pass. Yep. And it's against Southern Cal. They're going to the 15-yard line. We're talking major league loss of poise here. And I think it's been the same guy all along. I think it's Marcus Cotton. He's just flapping up a storm out there right now. And the official just kind of came out and said, son, you can wipe your upper lip with this little 15-yard penalty. Thank you very much. All right. The Cougars ready now. First and 10 at the 15-yard line. Here's the pitch to Porter trying to get wide side right at the 15. Bulldog down around the helmet. Drive down by Marcus Cotton as he got down to around the 13-yard line. Cotton, the tackle on Kerry Porter with Rick Chase trying to block on him, and Rex Moore was also in on the tackle, a two-yard gain for Kerry Porter. We're just split two men, Stallworth and Taylor to the left. There goes Wood through in motion to the left, trip set, hand off Porter up the middle, open at the five, at the one-yard line. Kerry Porter to the one-yard line on the draw, and he ran that pretty much on his own. At the line of scrimmage, it was excellently blocked. 
into the secondary. He was on his own, and he bowled his way to the one first down and goal. Boy, the Cougar offensive line is just chomping at the bit. All you ever heard about was how great the offensive line for USC is, and when that happens, it tends to fire up the opposition. They, these guys want to show that they're just as good as these people. Hey, we've been getting beat on for a long time. We're going to get after Here come the Cougars to the line. Right hash mark at the one-yard line, first and goal. Ed Blunt sets the team, split backs, two men left. Blunt with the ball, goes right. He's going to keep a touchdown! Washington State, Ed Blunt, and the Cougars have scored. It is 33 to 7 with 8.02 to go, and the Cougars are stomping them now as they celebrate beyond the end line. It was Ed Blunt from one yard out after the Kerry Porter run on the draw. A one-yard run by Ed Blunt and the 10-point underdog Cougars lead it 33 to 7 with 8. All two to go. They're going to get a penalty for the celebration down beyond the end line. Actually, Boomer Sooner, Butch, the Cougar mascot, ran out there and was slapping high-fiving the Cougar players. They're going to move that thing back for, I think, having an extra Cougar on the field or delay a game or whatever. It's going to be... A, oh, yeah, well. For, it's At least for it was a demonstration. It's an unsportsmanlike <laughs> conduct foul. Yes. It was put in to prevent entire bench loads running down. And that's what it is against the Cougars. Now... Ready to kick, Kevin Adams, the freshman. Ed Blunt will spot the ball just inside the 10. The lines are set, the crimson-clad Cougars ready. Here's the snap, the spot, the kick. End over end is through there, and the extra point is good. With eight minutes and two seconds left to play, it's Washington State 34, Southern California 7. We're ready to go. All the coaches next door wanted to know what Kerry Porter had in yardage. Uh, unofficially, we have 157 here. And sometimes we get called on for extra duty, Paul. Here's the kickoff now. A floater, a knuckleball, hits at the 30 to the 21 yard line. It'll be White returning from there, looking for the hole through at the 50 and got to the Cougar 47 yard line. Nice return so, by White. Ball to be in the air. The Cougars playing lots of defensive backs. Now, motion, which line moved? The Cougars jumped, but they were pointing at SC, claiming the Trojans went. And I think they did. The officials have come in. Yep, Southern Cal. The Warriors are getting the fans fired up. They're saying, come on, guys. It's been 29 years since we've done this. Let's get after it. They'll take it back now to the USC 48-yard line. They started on the 47 of Washington State. Now they're back on the Trojan 48, first and 15. They didn't lose any time, but they lost five yards. Two men split to the left, one to the right, split backs. Signals called now at quarterback. Looks like Kevin McLean in at quarterback. Pete is gone. It is Kevin McLean at quarterback. Deep drop. He's a good thrower. Over the middle. Got it out there now to Ryan Knight, who's playing for the first time. Knight caught it and down at the Washington State 45-yard line. Lane, the quarterback, calling the signals. He's a 6'3", 185 junior. Back he goes deep. Throws left side. Bounced it on its way to Randy Tanner. He threw him a one-bounce pass that time, and Tanner turning back to wait for it. It bounced away from him. Ronnie Lee was over there to cover. Split backs behind him now at the Washington State 45, third and eight. McLean calls his play. McLean drops straight back. He throws left side. He's got his man Tanner at the 35, and he's out of bounds at the 33-yard line, chased out by Lee and Landrum of Washington State. Randy Tanner. Down to the Washington State, 33-yard line. That is a 12-yard first down passing gain for Southern California. Their 11th passing first down, 12 yards. Nice read that time by McLean. He had a good, lot of pressure. Washington State was in that robber defense. He read the out and he picked it up. All right, out of that huddle they come now. We're down to 7.07 to go. Clock stopped on the out-of-bounds play. And a first down for Southern Cal, 34-7. Washington State leads. Back goes McLean, the quarterback. Here's the rush in the middle. He's flushed, throws right side, bounced it again. It's incomplete. Ball at the Cougar 33-yard line, 7.01 to go. It's second down and 10. USC trailing by 27. Back goes McLean. Here comes the rush. He throws it. Is caught by Ryan Knight at the 26-yard line. Knight was hit by Ronnie Collins and run back from the 27. Pretty good pressure. Back he goes again. Rolls to the left. Here's the rush. They're going to get him. No, he slipped away. Throws deep. It's incomplete. Almost intercepted. He literally threw that away, and Landrum almost spoiled it for him. Short yardage. It would leave the clock running, but they've got to get the first down. Nope, they're going to pass. Back goes McLean. Left side to throw. Incomplete. Ron Lee flattened the receiver as the ball hit his hands and carried him away. 
It was Holt out of the backfield. The Cougars have held and take the football. 1957, the Cougars won in Los Angeles, a squeaky 13 to 12. They're ahead by 34 to 7 here late in the ball game. New quarterback, Tim Rosenbaugh, hands off into the left side of the line to carry Porter, and he drives it out over the 30-yard line. So the Cougars pick up a little bit of yardage as Kerry Porter continues to carry the ball from the 26 out to the 31. That's a five-yard gain for Kerry Porter with a new quarterback in, Tim Rosenbaugh, now running at the quarterback spot for Washington State. 162 yards for Kerry Porter. It is second down and five. Second and five. Over the ball at center for Washington State is Alan Boatman. Motion through from left to right by Kittrick Taylor. Here's the handoff. Rosenbaugh handing off now in the backfield to Richie Reed. And Reed, I think, has the first down at the 36-yard line. Reed to the 36. And should have the first down. They're going to look at it. Maybe they're going to measure this one. Nope, they're going to call a first down. They... All right, we're ready once again. Cotton Sears in motion through to the left side. Here's Rosenbaugh, the fake, the hand of Broussard. Penalty marker down on the near side as Broussard took the ball out to around the 38 or 9, make it the 39-yard line, and is wrapped up there and wrestled down. We're down to 4.58 remaining in the football game. Washington State leading 34-7. to The Cougars have won only four times in this series since 1921. There's Wood in motion through to the left side. Snap, Rosenbaugh, pitch left, Reed. Around the left side goes Richie, squirting forward. Got out to about the 33-yard line. Richie Reed, a couple of yards on the carry for Washington State. The Cougars nearing 200 yards second half. And if they go over 200 yards, they could very seriously approach 500 yards in the game. Uh, Coet's gone on the right corner with the injury, but otherwise, yeah, they're first string. Here's Chase in motion to the right side. It's Rosenbaugh at quarterback. Hand off in a bar field. Broussard diving and twisting his way and got out over the 35-yard line. He's finally wrapped up, dragged down by Tim Ryan, a freshman defensive lineman from San Jose. Cougars ready. Tim Rosenbaugh behind the center. Takes the snap. Draw a handoff with a penalty marker down. Broussard trying to get outside to the left. Not going to make it. Did a good job to get back just about to the line of scrimmage, but I think once again we have a motion call. Going to rush this one. Ten men at the line and only one man back. Lonnie White. No, it is not Lonnie White for USC. Here comes the snap. Here's the rush up the middle. He got it away. A very short kick. I think that was partially blocked. It is rolling across midfield, and the Cougars are going to cover it at the 45-yard line of Southern Cal. That ball, Paul, must have been deflected. It came out of there sort of uh, wobbly end, half end over end, half sideways. Oh, definitely. It caught, SC was sending everybody. They had a 10-man rush that time. That's where Jim Walton every once in a while has an audible. You know, how many times did you see that last year where they, they have 10 men on the line of scrimmage? He just, the punter would get the ball and just throw it up over the initial rush. He tried to kick it away. Somebody got a hand up on it. USC has got to score a lot of points in 2 minutes and 55 seconds to get back in this thing. Kevin Thomason will play center field 20 yards off the line of scrimmage as the Cougars play lots of DBs now. McLean, a quarterback for Southern Cal from his own 45-yard line. Back he goes to pass. He sets up. He's rushed out. He's caught behind the line, and down he goes back on the 39-yard line. And the man that got him, Ivan Cook, who was the defensive lineman of the week last week for Washington State, Ivan Cook, Mayor's lead, 34-7. Don't go away now. Four down linemen for Washington State. They'll pressure. Back goes the quarterback, McLean. Throws left side. Man there, leaping try. Caught the ball, Whoa. and he got inbounds. He got a foot down, and the man who caught it that time was wide receiver Lonnie White, the kick return specialist. He caught it at the Cougar 42-yard line. So that is a 20-yard passing game. Beautiful catch by White. He went up one-handed, pulled that ball down and bounds. James Hasty was standing right there. I thought Hasty was trying to go for the interception because he went up with White instead of going through White to destroy him. White made a nice play. USC has passed for 300 yards in this game. That's not the USC Trojans we've known in the past. <laughs> no. All right, they're ready again. They're just not running the ball anymore. Cougars ready on defense. First down. Back goes McLean again. Over the middle. He lofted it, but the ball is caught. That's Jackson, I believe, the wide receiver. No, that's Henry. That's Henry. No, it isn't. It's either one. It's Green. Paul Green who got it. Minute 45 to go. 34-7 Cougars. Back goes McLean. Green looks right, throws right. It is incomplete at the 12-yard line. 
His receiver there was Lonnie White, who went downfield and then drove out to the sidelines against Irwin Chappelle and could not get a hand on the ball. What? Split backs now. McLean from the 20. Back he goes again, exercising the pass. Throws, and the receiver immediately at the 18-yard line. James Hasty hit him right up under the face mask. Eric Affholter caught that one. They'll put him at the 17-yard line. So a three-yard gain on that pass play. A three-yard gain. And Southern California now goes to 201 yards of offense in this second half. But it's third down and seven as they picked up only three on that play. A minute seven, clock running at the 17-yard line, third down. Here comes the blitz. Back goes McLean. The throw at the five. It is caught. Touchdown, Lonnie White. White caught the ball and spun away into the end zone with 58 seconds remaining to play in the ball game. And so the passing game of Southern Cal stings the Cougars. In the so the pass play from 17 yards out, the touchdown. Here's the snap for the extra point. Schaefer's kick is up and good. It is 34-14. Washington State with 58 seconds to go. Well, kickoff time, and the Cougars are looking for an onside kick from Southern California. 34-14, Washington State. Ball is upright on the tee on the right hash mark. Everybody to the left of the kicker. Here's the run. He kicks it across the field. It goes to the sidelines and out. And the flag flies. Another flag flies. And Perhaps so flies. take it back floor. and kick it over again. Or the Cougars can take it there. Uh, just take it there. Heck with it. Take it there and just decline the penalty for the short free kick. Yep, they'll decline it and take it right there. So Washington State's ball, and the Cougars will have it ready to go to work. USC in passing for that touchdown, 17 yards, made it a 340-yard day through the air. So, all right, Tim Rosenbaugh sets his team. Split backs behind him. Broussard and Pringle. The handoff to Pringle dives into the left side. Cougars don't want to go anywhere now. They're satisfied to move it forward a few yards. Down to the 41-yard line. They started on the 43, so a two-yard advance for Mike Pringle. The Cougars now go over 200 yards of offense. Cougars from the 41, a handoff to Broussard spinning into the right side. He's over the 35 down to the 34-yard line. Broussard picks up seven for Washington State. Scoreboard clock and the 25-second clock are running together. And everybody up for a standing ovation as Rosenbaugh steps in behind his center. He will call a play. Rosenbaugh ready. He calls the play. There's movement on the left side. And the Cougar left tackle, John Husby, jumped offside and made contact. And that ball stopped the clock with six seconds to go. And they won't start the clock now until the snap. Well, Husby just got a little bit excited. I think he, you know, he's one of those guys that was battling in there all along, wanted to say, hey, I got a good shot on, on these guys. He got you know, a little paint on his helmet. Says, I played S2. I just have to draw the little crayons on there to make me look like I could hit. They start the clock, and it's over. It counts down, and it's over. Washington State, for the first time since 1957, 29 years ago, has beaten Southern California. Washington State and the Cougars, no, no doubt about it. They win impressively. Washington State, 34. Southern California, 14. Before you go to the locker room, you want to say something? I'm happy. I, I mean, all you can say is Washington State played as hard as they can. SC was ready to play this ball game. There was no letdown. The guys played their very hard hearts out. Five turnovers for the defense in terms of the third week in a row that they've done that. And I think now on the year, they're plus 12, which is going to put them right up there in terms of the turnover category. The offense went without giving up one turnover today. That's the second game this year or the third game this year that they've done that. A lot of people had great games, and I'm just happy for them all, and I'm happy for Coach Waldman and, and all the fans that showed up and listened, and hey, I'm happy. I'm, That's going to be a fun locker room. I'll see you. That'll be a fun here. locker room you're headed for. Don't forget the stopwatch. The final score was Washington State, 34. Southern California, ninth ranked in the country, unbeaten coming in, 14. The Cougars have won two and tied one in their last three games. The tie and one win against teams ranked 11th and 9th in the country when they did it. So the Cougars are playing impressive football. They won this afternoon over Southern California. Washington State, 34. USC, 14.